damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. That was really loud in my ears, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thunderous applause. Yes, yes. That was Thank so you. So real. It was so real. Welcome I felt it. I felt it. Me too. You can feel it in the floor. You, f you felt it? Mm -hmm. I did, all the way over here. All the way deep down. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering why you grabbed your chest, Garrett. And I was... Right here in my heart. And it's where I keep my heart. Boobs. Make your nipples hard. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right in the Forbidden Frontier. You know, intro. Oh. <laughs> Nipple hardening in intro. Hey, it is Mahler's man. voice, I'm sure. Yeah. You know. That's uh, pretty good. Welcome, everybody. W uh, Adam and I are kind of waking up a little bit, need a little <laughs> caffeine, but uh, we're going, I, I was admiring Adam, your avatar picture while you were gone. You, show, <laughs> oh, yeah. you like yes, that? Hold yes. on. Let me, it's very show. animated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my, uh, I don't remember what this is from, but uh, yeah. For those of you it's listening at home, glorious. it's like he's at his, uh, he's at his butt exam and uh, oh. mm -hmm. he's got probed. Moon Zorbu River. showed up. If you remember, wait. Oh, is that what this the, is? The yeah. DRE, the digital <laughs> rectal exam. I oh, think yeah. I might like this. <laughs> <laughs> not, not judging. Uh, we got a fun show planned. Uh, yes. One that's like really grounded, based in reality, based in science. Um, <laughs> and one that isn't. But and one that's uh, just yeah. like shooting rockets into the freaking sky. In the sky, looking for the bonus hole above Skinwalker shooting Ranch. But I'm rockets, down for man. it. I I thought the last three episodes kind of made up for a very drawn of, out. Yeah. I think yeah, thankfully episodes is the best. I don't yeah. think 14 is a very good idea because when you when they did the last episode and they showed all the stuff, I'm like that seems like a lot of stuff, but it just wasn't over 14 episodes. Maybe over 10. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. but I, I was entertained. That's it. And Travis Taylor's. Uh, one of my favorite people on television. So uh, <laughs> it's great. Uh, how you doing, Garrett? I'm doing good, man. I watched uh, Unknown Cave of Bones, and I thought that was a really cool documentary. Brilliant. Super interesting about these uh, non-human species that are behaving in human ways. It was fascinating. And then Skinwalker, you know, always fun. Shooting rockets. Uh, they had those laser, that laser grid was awesome. Uh, and there's a great part in the, in the, in the show, my favorite part, they shoot a rocket. Cause they're like, we're shooting them vertically. And then we're shooting them horizontally and they shoot them off and like, Poof! and it just cuts to Travis and he just goes, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he's just saying cool to the rockets shooting off. He's just, no, none of the information. It's so good. But well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. They right. have to, you know, to fill time, they always have to cut away with and you know they plan the scene. It's not like the guy's going, okay, we got to break this ga down, guys. They always, <laughs> we should break it down. Let's break it down. Okay, you want to break it down? Let's break it down. We're going to break it down. So that's five minutes of our show right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you cut to the different characters while they go like this. Yep. 
<laughs> or when they're surprised. It feels like an anime almost. <laughs> it does. It does. It's uh, it's it's funny. It's funny. It's entertaining. Uh, hello, Adam Krigler. Hello there. What's I up, just man? booked my ticket to London earlier today. That's Very awesome. excited. And I'm honestly, I've the the few places on the planet that I've always wanted to go. Obviously, Egypt, the pyramids, uh, Peru to see Machu Picchu. Stonehenge was has been on that list. And once I booked my ticket and I got off the call with the the crew earlier today, I kind of stood up and I like walked out to my balcony and just was standing there looking and I'm like, holy shit. I'm going to I'm going to Stonehenge like yeah, you are I'm yeah, I'm going to go there and I kind of got a little I don't know like giddy like a childlike wonder of like excitement and I haven't felt that way in a while so I'm I'm really looking forward to it and I get to hang out with you guys while we'll do it yeah. yeah that'll be I mean it's uh, any place you go it's the people you're with so that's absolutely like most what I'm most looking forward to and when you get there you're going to trip out that it's like right next to like a sheep field farm it's like there's a town like okay. so you think it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. And the parking lot they built, they're like, oops, there's stuff under this parking lot. There was the, the so they have circles painted where the wood posts were uh, and they're still finding stuff. That's the crazy thing. But a lot of crop circles, thing, the crop very circles first thing you look at that, that to me anyway, I looked at it and, and they say oh, that's five or six thousand years old. I'm all, no fucking way. It just looks older. It looks mm. insanely old. So I think it's older. I say 10,000. I can't wait to get That's up what close. I say. 10,000 to get up close. Man. Yeah, maybe more. I just I, I, I was told my I was talking to my wife about it and she's like, do you know there's a, a, a Swedish Stonehenge? And I'm like, what? No. Do you get, ever you guys know about this? Mm -hmm. Swedish Stonehenge? No, but I'm not surprised. It seems like every country has a stone circle. It's not, it doesn't look exactly like it. It's much more Viking like. It's a, a ring of stones in oh, the yeah. shape of a ship. It's oh. called the Ale, Ale Stones. Do you have a picture, Valheim. Garrett? Yeah, I found one. I want to see it. I want to see it's it. It's very Valheim. That's it's the first exactly. thing I thought of. Yeah. I was like, hey, those are in Valheim. There's a chest <laughs> under that. You dig it up. <laughs> I should dig, it, dig in the middle. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. Very Valheim. Yeah. And they say that this is about five thousand years old, yeah. Or at least they found a tomb. It, it fits their, of some uh, old king, or their their narrative. Uh, Russell Brand's video, great video today, was yeah, freaking awesome. It. Absolutely, <laughs> like, dude, that awesome guy's a riot, man. I love that guy. Yeah, he he's funny, but he makes a great point about consciousness, which is something I've always believed that we'll get into. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm glad because there's I'm getting into Russell Brand. I'm finding like he's a he's a really great interviewer. He's a and the way he does it is is like he doesn't take all of the time. He like lets his interviewee talk. Like he did a great one with uh Tucker Car Carlson and he just like was just asked him a question. Tucker went on for like ten minutes and then he asked him another like really deep question about things he talked about the whole time. So go watch him. He's he's amazing. Yeah, he did a great one with Drinker too. Yes, he did. The whole I'm halfway through that one. Uh, hello, X-Ray Girl. Hello. I am so excited for just everything coming up. There's a lot of a lot on the roster. Um, and uh I, I can't wait because I feel like this is gonna be like uh it's almost like the Avengers coming together, but Forbidden Frontier coming together. <laughs> right. We're just missing our Adam. <laughs> I can't wait. Like, so we're gonna be like Excalibur. Yeah. Mm. Team from Marvel. But they'll probably put together and it'll all be women. So we won't be the Marvel version. But uh, yeah, well, yeah. X Ray will be in there. Yeah, X Ray girl will be in there. Should be our token. And, and maybe, oh, maybe quarter boxes. black because he checks a quarter. I get a quarter little bit of box. Box. You're, you're yeah. definitely darker than me. So, you know, yeah. I mean, well, Gary's now, darker than me right so, now. Heck. Oh, getting on? out. You're sun. like see through. <laughs> 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 I spent a lot of time in the sun. I went outside. <laughs> he touched grass. I touched grass. He touched the grass. <laughs> Touched my own grass. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! The grass that I grow in my front yard that I oh. thought was dead—it oh. took us a year okay. to bring it back to life. Okay, like <laughs> you brought it back to life in Texas summer. 
it's a project well, to man. get good grass. We had to put um we composted and then we composted everywhere and like it it came wow. back. It just came back. Nice. Some shit and some rotting food and stuff. Yeah, it's brought it back. Are you like Works one of those wonders. people who cuts their grass different every time and on the angle and no, all that? No, I am one of oh. those people who gets a guy to cut our grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it, I'm one of those people too. Not me. There's something oh, special about cut. I, dude, I love it. I, I don't know what it is. It was it was my chore as a kid. Like I that was my job. I had to cut the grass. And now that I have my own lawn, when I cut that grass and I'm I like I walk around my yard like I conquered life. <laughs> I, this I is my, my land. Adam, I cut grass. <laughs> I maintain if I had yeah, the lawn to do it, I would do it. But knowing how much time I would have to do it, I was trying to get Melissa to just put in the fake grass. I'm like, just put the fake stuff in. It always looks good. It doesn't die in the winter. Don't ever have to mow it. And she's like, hell no. So we get in the backyard, but good not for in the front yard. Good for her. I'm all, yeah. So, yeah, we get Leo. Leo's awesome, man. Leo rules. Leo's a good dude. That's my man. Right we there. need Leos in the world. Okay. We need Leos in the world. Mm-hmm. Leo's great. Um, so, yeah, we, we have a, an exciting show. I had dinner with a content creator last night. A, a local <gasps> one. Go on. Uh, Luke Caverns. Oh, it's coming on in two weeks. Coming on in two weeks. Oh, snaps. Yeah. So we uh, had a nice dinner. Got to meet. uh, He's he's 26. Uh, He did one of the best. uh, uh, That'll be your homework, guys. I'll try to. No, you should pay for it. I can't. I I have it. Um, He his uh, his his presentation at Cosmic Summit was one of the best, was absolutely one of the best. Yeah, so, at 26 um, years old. Wow. Yeah, we'll steer you his way, and yeah, he's a, he's the one that uh, investigates the Mayan temples and stuff, and yeah, and stuff ah. like this. yeah. doing real Indiana Jones really stuff. Cool stuff. And he dresses kind of like that too, right? Yeah. yeah, and he can pull it off too. He can pull it off. Good kid, good kid. Uh, Dreadnought Trucking LLC for twenty dollars says, "Have any of you watched the Julian Dory podcast with Matt?" LaCroix. Uh, he says Atlanta spanned to Cuba and there's ruins underwater by Cuba. Many other mind blowing obser- observations. I haven't, but I will. And I know about the ruins off of Cuba that are so well, for one, they're off a communist country, so we can't get down there. And they're like two miles down. So it's almost impossible uh, to go, there, which wow. is crazy because we could send probes to Mars, but it's very difficult and expensive for us to go deep in the ocean still. Uh, wouldn't surprise I have not me seen at all. It. If we, uh, the ruins, um, these ruins were found, God, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, 20 years ago, maybe a little longer. And they mapped the floor, uh, the, the sea floor uh, and, and that what they thought were mountains next to Cuba, it started looking like residential structures. Like it started looking like geometry. What? So, yeah. I've uh, never heard of this. What is it called? For, they say it's been debunked, but those pictures do exist. They do look weird. I mean, if we want to go all the way, are they pyramids? Don't know. Don't know. But it's definitely been around for a long time, that that one. I will check it out. Thank you. Uh, John Cunningham for $10. Is it true that Stonehenge was rebuilt in the early 1900s? Does that diminish its uniqueness at all? Uh, how do we know they put the stones in that uh, the original places? It has to have been rebuilt, you know, considering it's UK and it's been there forever. Uh, isn't I'm there sure. pictures? Isn't there pictures from like 1908 of them recon- reconstructing it? Yeah, I, I think I saw that. I may I don't know if it's true or not, but a lot of stuff is reconstructed. A lot of the pyramids, in South America, reconstructed, mm. but we don't actually know what a lot of the stuff looked like. Uh, you know, pyramids know in Egypt real? have not been, you know, reconstructed. The, the, those are still the real deal, and uh. Yeah, and they still remain the like single strangest. I know that that's the on the nose one that everybody goes to, but like that's still this. They're so crazy. There's nothing that makes sense about those things at all. Hello, chat. We got bad, bad Bill, Piddly Widley, Smooth DJ, uh, Polar Red, Robert Payne, Russ Williams, who's a member, Nolan Saints. Nolans. See, I even said that right. The mm-hmm. Nolans Saints. 
That's a football. Did. Yeah. Uh, F J C gamer. Welcome to forbidden frontier. I guess we'll start with, uh, as people roll in, we'll start with, um, skinwalker ranch the finale of season four there's going to be a season five they've got a um got a spinoff which is it it's not bad okay. yeah you said it was good last week yeah uh, it's it's it, it goes to other strange places and you're finding <clears throat> you know the more connected we are uh the more we exchange information and the more we can uh freely talk about weird stuff which we can't entirely do on youtube or on social media but it's getting better than it was a couple of years ago. Uh, we're is it finding the same the, people. There's uh, what was that? Is it the same people? The same people exchanging the information? No, no, no. Oh, no, this, no. The skin off. Walker. It's it's they're in it. Like Travis is in it. Okay. And Brandon is in it, but they have three other investigators that go out in the field, right? So they go out in the okay. field and then they come back to the ranch and then they do their little powwow. Uh. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. I don't know how long the spinoff can go, but it's pretty interesting. That's where they they did the Zone of Silence, which is a weird place. Which we still need to talk about. Which mm. we still need to talk about. True. Mm. Uh, but uh, this final episode is they usually just wrap everything up, right? I liked they, it though. Yeah, I, I did. Really they, they wrapped everything up. They sat around their table in Brandon's very impressive building. Uh, cause he's very rich. <laughs> now let's, let's <laughs> shut the shades. <laughs> Garrett, that was my, <laughs> but oh. When he said that, <laughs> I was like, is, is, is are the like cages going to come out? Like that was the, weird. the evil layer. We're going to talk about the it's plan. Like, oh, just look at my cool <laughs> shades. <laughs> up, down, up, down. It was also strange to see them also dressed up for yeah. the final episode. Yeah, like dragon. His hair was mm -hmm. all done <laughs> up. But it was it was really interesting because uh, I didn't watch all of the I don't think I watched the first like three episodes because I jumped it and uh, they filled in all those kind of gaps like they do. They kind of string it out a bit. But throughout the show, there's interesting that bits that that happen. So the last episode is always really good because they put all of the things that they learned like they possibly found that there are tunnels like intentionally possibly dug under the mesa. I'm like, why are we not down there? Like right now, metallic right, that's, tunnels. I'm sure that'll be season eight. Yeah, don't you think that they should in, not not go into the mesa, but where the that blank spot, you know, that dark, mm, yeah, where the where the portal is, the 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 area that bends light. That according to, I don't know if it's a lidar or so whatever. That, so they shot they they shot rockets. Yeah, they got to shoot them rockets. Which they uh, do. they lost one. Just cool. Then they 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 put a balloon up that had a bunch of uh, sensors on it, and they found that they lost like a quarter of a second in the time displacement up at the same altitude that they keep having weird like when a rocket goes through it, it'll malfunction or whatever. Some like a drone, it'll malfunction. This same spot over that triangle bit. So they shot that up there, found the time dilation, and then they. What was it like a infrared scan of the area? And that's where they got this black hole directly in that spot. And they did got zero data from this hole. And then when they sh showed the data of the rocket shooting, it wasn't just the one rocket. It was like multiple rockets, like a, as if it was mirrored and it was around this yeah, spot, like, an in the arc. Ground, like in an arc, like it's mm -hmm. getting more like the time or light or whatever it is is getting moved and displaced in some way around this area so don't you think it would make sense like that they quarantine off we're going down excavate though. that spot like not into the mesa i just i know like it, like a it, like 10 meters yeah. like 10 meters or something and just go down exactly well like you're what about that maybe. blank spot right that was in the yeah. in that radar that big black circle yeah so you hear, you heard what Travis thought that was? Yeah, portal. Portal. A shadow uh -oh. of a portal. Oh, so it's shadow of portals a portal. in the sky. Shadow of a portal. So um interesting. Remember a couple episodes back I talked about um Carl Sagan describing like a four-dimensional like a like a two-dimensional being 
observing a third dimensional thing and it would just be like a shadow that we cast and it would be sound like a disembodied voice it's something that yeah. the dimensional beings couldn't see they couldn't see directly but they could see the effect of it that's kind of the theory behind it hmm. uh, they still the should dig because there's two things they're 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 pointing to is there's something inside the mesa there's tunnel well there's three actually there's tunnels there's something there inside is. the mesa and there might be a portal above the triangle um or an anomaly of some kind. And he said that that is a shadow, which is weird. Sometimes when Travis to... speaks, it, it sounds like he's coming from a place of, I've seen this before from somewhere else. Like I know, I, I, th I know what this is like, Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen this in government paper, some secret government program. Obviously he's not saying that, but do you, do you get that vibe sometimes? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Especially mm -hmm. when he was part of the UAP group and didn't tell anybody. So he's mm -hmm. very capable of keeping stuff from people. And you can tell when he's talking about when, when he goes, well, we're investigating this. He never gets into detail, you know, so you're, you're allowed to say, yeah, we're looking into stuff. We're looking into, uh, like when he, when they found that pink powder, he's all, oh yeah, we're using that, uh, for to, cloaking, for cloaking, excuse me, not, Travis, not <laughs> Or what cloaking. did you say? Like, <laughs> and it's like, what? I'm sorry, cloaking? What? Oh, okay. now of course the government's working on cloaking. I mean, like, sure, we can all yeah. agree that, of Makes course, sense. they are. <laughs> of course, <laughs> um, and they have been since World War II. Okay, uh, Philadelphia Experiment. Ooh, that'd be a good show. The, ooh, that would be a good show. The Philadelphia Experiment. Mm -hmm. Guys getting phased through walls and bulkheads oh, yeah. and stuff. That was a good movie too. I think but, I watched uh, movie. Yeah, I think I think we finally see what they're pointing towards, right? Like at first, it was just like we're shooting rockets in the air and then we're drilling into the. I'm go, okay, what? There's one there great shot. Saying, what do you think it is? What do you do? You think there's a portal? Do you think there's a spaceship in the mesa? Uh, and I think it's more of a, it's a portal. And I that find, portal there's a great shot that they can do manifest they... anywhere in the ground in the sky. They conceptualize what it could mean because they take the the thirty feet in the air or whatever the was it meters thirty meters whatever it is that area and then the size of that well, shadow. The last one was ten thousand feet above the mesa. So, right. and then they show they conceptualize could it all be connected and they show this like bell shape or not a bell shape a but Rosen like Bridge like an hourglass Einstein yeah Bruce. Rosen it's the Einstein Rosen Bridge yeah yeah so it's like that area up there the the portal and we're seeing the shadow of that portal on the ground in that one scan yeah and that's where you, you see that's where like the the natives have talked about ships or light coming through portals in that same spot and well, then they, they, caught, detected... they caught a light on camera mm -hmm. coming out of the mesa and going right to that spot and disappearing yeah which was weird like, that is weird that's pretty weird and they didn't catch it. They had to like go back. There's a couple of things they went back and caught in the footage that they're like, oh, we didn't catch that the first time. Like that right. that dot that looked like one object and then it went and all the way up many. and then it became and like it became many, which yeah. it could still be and the main object. But if yeah, what is that? Portal, what do you guys think that was? A bunch of reflection. I don't well, know. remember, uh, let me read the super chat real quick. And I'll, and I'll okay. tell you. The chat. It's a good one. Uh, has, has passed around the cup and they got 20 bucks. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Of history is bunk, societies were sunk, whether water or by mud, whether still, it's all what I dunk. That was <laughs> that <laughs> that what is told is real. How no I repeal. Uh, what now I repeal? Sorry. Uh, since nothing as it seemed, however, thanks for exploring the whole deal. Thank you for that poem. I moved. Yeah. I'm moved, deeply moved. Because I'm such a poetry guy. I'm into poetry I'm not as much as, well. as uh, I am hip hop. So, okay. okay. So, real uh, Adam, remember when they uh, they had they were doing another radar lidar thing or mm -hmm. radar thing or something, and they shot the rocket up, and there was all those reflections. Yeah, yeah. And the and the reflections were morphed as well around. And they were that morphed area. in a curve. 
around around the shadow around the shadow so cool so i think that single thing they were seeing possibly if it, okay if it's a uap and if it's not of a flock of birds or something like that or a flock of seagulls uh if, if the show isn't completely lying if to the us show isn't complete bullshit. if it went through a portal like could you possibly like at the moment it's going towards it you start seeing reflections like of other what if it's like other this? dimensions like brrr, oh like, i see mm -hmm. so that is a single rocket taking off and it looks like there's uh one and two, you can see three, it curve four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and it kind of fades off and there's more in the background and it's curving Curving around that black spot and, and curving on the uh was it the x-axis? That's it's reflecting horizontal. the data. That's what it's doing. Uh so yeah, that's a possibility, and that was definitely weird. That was definitely even weird. when they were doing some of the rocket experiments in the other episodes, they would shoot trajectory-wise, it's supposed to go up, but then they like start veering off. Even yeah, and then they can't find them. They can't recover them. And all at the same place, too. Like 56 yeah. feet or something. It's very weird. It is, and it's it's where they've lost balloons. It's where the couple of rockets have blown up. So it is it is strange. If it's real. Dang triangles. You gotta say, if it's real, because it's a TV show. Right. Yeah. Okay. Do Did I they trust not find the, the large the rocket? Because they, they, they were said. like, we lost it. Okay. They never you think said. it went through the portal? Oh. It, it achieved 88 miles an hour. So at the end of the penultimate episode, they shot a, a rocket off and they just lost it. Like a big one. Yeah. The biggest they ever shot. Well, didn't that one hit the speed of sound? Yes. yes. Yeah, it did. That's how fast it was going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Where'd it, it could have just taken off, but uh, th they said they probably would have heard it crash or something, but it nothing. It just disappeared. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, wild. How does one lose a rocket? I don't know. Uh, Dan Bruckman for ten dollars says, "Adam, if you're going to Stonehenge, the guys from the Pedal Show are based right there in that area. I know you play, but uh, not sure if you play electric. Anyway, just something that uh, else fun to do. There you go. Dude, I got my electric right here. Look at this hey, beautiful hey. thing. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's a beaut. I don't beautiful. play it as much as my acoustic." Yeah, we're we're trying to. Uh, thanks for the. Uh, uh, we're gonna Thank have. You, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be crazy when we get there. Yeah, I'm so going to the Sherlock Holmes Museum. All right, oh, I'll go with you. I it, know it's, you know. it's right near yeah. our hotel. <clears throat> the yeah. last time I last time I was there, dude, I had like two weeks to myself. My wife was teaching a class. I just threw on a backpack and walked around London for two yeah. weeks, and then did all nice. the tours and stuff. That was before it was culturally enriched. Might be dangerous now. Uh, there's a great uh, a great documentary to check out. Who really discovered America? Japanese demon lord. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I will check that out. I will definitely check it out. Yeah, the the, the <clears> tall the whites, cave, the cave of bones, the tall whites. Obviously, the aliens. <clears throat> obviously. The cave of bones opens up a lot of uh, questions, but it seems like some. It seems like they're trying to filter it through. The 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 narrative right now. The, the religion yeah, to have it be narrative accepted. that science has and it's 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 that's what it is it's it's treated like fundamentalism almost at this point and it's so boring by the and way you could tell how like afraid they are in the documentary they are like, the whole time there's they're one like guy i don't like, want to say that this one is... guy oh you know the one main guy is open to other stuff he's like i yeah. need to bring somebody down in this cave who understands spirituality you know he's all i that's just not my field it's, it's not you know yeah. i'm science russell brand broke it down perfectly i think he broke it down perfectly of what they discovered and uh i guess the hint will be that they, they're just coming off as we're we're not special yeah. we're not exceptional the exceptional human is not except exceptional and uh i never looked at it like that we just have this thing called consciousness when other animals don't to our level some are yeah. you know like whales are very intelligent elephants are very intelligent there's there's a lot of intelligent animals out there, and maybe they can communicate, and we're just not getting it. You know, I don't know. Thanks for all the fish. Uh, exactly, exactly. But what Russell Brand said, what, what he said was right: is consciousness does not is not create is not broadcast from the brain; it's received. 
It is something that exists prior to uh, the material human, the, the, the physical human. It's something that's there already and that we kind of tap into. Yeah, we're like radios. Yeah. Picking up that signal for a it, little bit. It really bit does push the whole simulation back. thing a little bit. <laughs> so it's true. But uh, Dude, this, it, this no. documentary is crazy. And, and this is not in the same vein of skinwalker it's not like fantastical it's no. not dramatized like, woo -woo. it's not dramatized <laughs> it's dramatized literally a little bit, a little bit. The, him I, I like cave. those but yeah i like yeah. those uh the no, but that was like a heartwarming cool. moment because he had never been in the cave before mm -hmm. and like yeah. to be somewhere where you looked on the outside for eight years they weren't dramatizing the findings they were dramatizing the people which i think is the better way to do a documentary like that uh because then you're not making stuff up yeah. But the they kept way the that facts. they kind of uh, that un one girl, unveiled the, the show. Yeah, so perked cool. my ears. The one girl is like, well, my initial studies were uh, studying the the atrocities of apartheid. Yeah, I'm like, I was like, well, oh, you can do flag. that now. You can just go back to your own country and see the uh, atrocity. <laughs> yeah, they had a big rally. Yeah, uh, they had a big rally. Oh, man. No, but I um, thought that they asked a lot of good questions. They did. Um, mm -hmm. And just questions you'll we'll never find the answers to, but I think it's good thought provoking ones. I mean, you, you when, maybe when they maybe. did when they were looking in the the first chamber, not like the burial chamber, because there was multiple chambers, right? Yep. And they were were like, man, what if they had fire? Like, imagine them crawling through here with with just nothing, and then they found fire and they found like elk bone that was a at presumably cooked they're like yeah. holy cow the, they had fire as well so they they weren't just you know blindly going through these caves they were like posted up in this spot yes and they showed them physically going through the caves and how there's massive gaps that you'd have to carry the body by two people like one person one of these eight people would go across and they'd reach back over and get the body and then carry right. it over. Like there was no I'm way like, to do it on your own. And yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't show it in this cave. where right at, where it says dragon's back. Like basically right where it's pointing. There's actually a huge drop in between yeah. the the one chamber and then the the Daniletti chamber or the shoot. I guess it, the shoot is like a big huge. Was it forty feet? No, seventy feet. Yeah, it's a long way down. It's and a long way down. Would you guys go? How many? How many? I'm not fit enough there? to go. I'm not fit no. enough to go in. No. Garrett, you wouldn't go? No. I'm not fit in that hole. I'd Garrett, go. would you go in there? Yep. I'd go in there. <laughs> I'd go also. For sure. That just looks. Uh, give me like a year if I, you know, work out enough and rock climb and stuff. So yeah. supposedly this is 250,000 years ago is when these homo uh naledis were in these these caves burying their dead i don't know if you've seen the documentary out there who, those who are watching us but uh it's very it's very good it's it's very interesting to so see that they discovered different species this that different are doing species. these things so for, at first they discovered this different species to where when they started looking at it, they're like oh it's just monkeys it's just chimpanzees and then they started looking at the hand and they're like oh this is totally different this is something different so so different that they had to give it a name right yep. uh they're very they're chimpanzee looking they're about five four foot eight to five foot two they're very skinny they walk upright mm -hmm. um the you know they gave us a uh, kind of a look of what what they might look like but they they do say in the documentary like we really don't know we don't know if they had fur we don't know if they had skin we don't know if they were dark we don't know anything uh but this is a female and um they said they would walk a little different but it there was obviously intelligence right and um mm -hmm. one of the big deals is their brains is about the third uh their brain is about a third of the size of ours but that doesn't seem to make a difference which I've never thought it did anyway. I yeah. think it's well, they still have capacity to. It is. They still like, have capacity look at, like, to the... care for their other being, which is yeah. something that sets us apart. I think they they went through all of the the homos, and they said that they all have the capacity to use tools <laughs> and conceptualize tools. All the homos know how to use the tools. <laughs> yeah, they all know how to use the tools. Now. 
<laughs> what's what sets us apart is that we can we have like empathy and we can connect those tools to people and have this kind of ritualistic somebody passed on okay, and moved well, on and that's the difference between them and other empathy ones empathy when like they get sad when a sibling dies or a yeah. mother dies uh they but they don't like the show. go and bury it Okay, they that's explain no. it in the show. They say like when something dies in some animal groups, they'll come up and like I think it was chimpanzees. Maybe they they talked about like they'll they'll notice that they died. They'll be sad that they died, and they'll go up to it and like prod it and poke it, and it'll be a very individual. Oh, this person that I knew died, but the difference is that we know somebody died, and we have a group response that they don't always necessarily have, and that's what this has reverence. And reverence and and almost ideas yeah. of life and death and what could come after, uh, yeah, it's fascinating. Quarter, so, so we're talking minimum quarter million years ago. Yeah. So let's think about this. If they had fire, if they had tools, they were scratching symbols into the walls. How long for this species did it take to get to that point? And it's a new species. They just found it. So how many more? And that like, and he kept saying this, like, and this is why it's such a well-balanced documentary, right? Like they, they don't like a lot of documentaries will shit on religion. Some guy will say out the side of his mouth, like religion, but like in this one, they pointed out like, Hey, this, this, what this belief system could have led to religion, the, the, the bad and the good that yeah. comes from it. And they showed like some positive things, which is very rare for a documentary like that. So I did appreciate that. And, th and they were there questioning what it means to be a human. Well, consciousness, but that might be something we share with another species. And you notice he said, it's, if you saw this, the main guy, I forgot his name. He's all, if you saw this thing, walk up to you. One guy said, you'd be terrified. Uh, and the other guy said, it would be an alien to you. And I went, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's it started my brain thinking that like, and this is not a new thought or anything and nothing I came up with, but um, there has been so much time. We know so little. It is, uh, remember when they talked about finding the child? They said that's kind of a holy grail. Like it is, you could count on one right. hand and have fingers left over how many uh, species like this they found children. Um, mm -hmm. And the only reason they found it is because they buried it. Yeah. But normally, if something's dying on the ground, we're not going to find it unless it dies a very specific way to get fossilized. So there, uh, to me, where I'm getting at to get to the point is there are probably hundreds, thousands of species we know nothing about and never will. Absolutely never. Lost will, to the world. Uh, unless they buried their dead. So um, I, I, it's kind of mind-blowing. Like what and I saw Graham tweet about this and I'm like, well, if Graham's tweeting about it, I'll I'll take a look. You know, I haven't even heard of this series on Netflix, to be honest with you. So I because it's a series, it's a series of unknown. Uh, uh, yeah, there's one about a, the step pyramid and I'm, I started watching, but I fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> they're very dry, but uh, it's it's filled with information. But, you know, once once I got about 15 minutes into it and they go, oh, yeah, they bury their dead. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like yeah. so the scenario was that they found this cave it's the uh star star stream cave system maybe getting that wrong in south africa they go into it they find that there are these these ape bodies at the bottom they find these bones and they find and they go like oh, okay this, this must be where you know whatever that ape in the distant past they went into this cave and that's where they died and then they were like, oh, well, maybe it was humans throwing the carcasses yeah. in the yeah. in the cave. And that's like right down that first shoot. And then they wrote it off, you know, for until years later. And then they went in and they went deeper and they started actually exploring this cave system. And they found like they went through these different areas, this crawl up to this area that you could barely get into and it's a whole journey to get there and keep in mind like usually they find a finger bone like the denisovans just a little like a tooth or a finger thing. bone they found tons of bones like everywhere so they're like oh, wow holy crap so that's why they it, it was eight years 
maybe longer. Yeah, the span. They were working on this, so they're, they're they kept going further they and go further through. back. Then down Not, the shaft. Oh, more also though, they don't, they didn't just find one bone, but all of these bones Multiples. were only this species. Only that. Yes. that yeah, that's right. That's it, really it important. It wasn't mixed with other things mm -hmm. and that's so it's not like that's a dump very site. unusual it's right not where people just threw dead bodies and to to go through all of this is an arduous task you go down this the ending over here dragon's back you crawl through this small space has that drop off then you have to through like a like a foot of space like a foot maybe foot and a half crawl all the way down this shaft and in this last chamber is a buried what are they? What are the? What's the name of the species? It's a. A uh, Homo naledi. Naledi, it's buried and it has a tool in its hand. Yeah, this is. And then they took this the tool out and they scanned it. No, they sure took it the tool. the whole. They took the whole thing the out, whole right? Thing. That's right. They took out the whole child with the tool in its hand. Well, yeah. you know how they? It was it. amazing how they found the the burial too. They were just uh, uh, the main guy. You just saw a picture of him. He was too big to get down there. So he was observing. Uh, he and his team were observing it on video and they just passed over one part yeah, of the and they ground just, like, look at it and they saw the light hit it just right. And it's a part that they had been over before. And they're like, wait a minute, that that seems raised. It seems like it the was dirt pattern, the soil dirt pattern. pattern. And they looked into it and then they found the buried child with the tool in his hand in the fetal position. So they they put uh, or the, the body. I don't know if that was. I think this is. Child. I don't think this is the I child. I think that was. Yeah. I think yeah. that was the child. It was the this child because uh, I I love that they used a CT scanner. I know I'm getting a little uh, <laughs> X-ray. <Nerd. laughs> X-ray mm. over here. Um, and <laughs> it's like a CT scanner that's so powerful that you can go down to the micron because we're used to doing yeah. like up to millimeter, and that's the CT reconstruction of a the child. And in I think it's here the hand here. Yeah, that is a tool. And it was a like higher density. Extracted that 3D model and found that it was a rock that looked like it was carved and used. And then the guy that couldn't fit down there, he, I guess he did some dieting or something, but he made himself fit <laughs> down there. He goes down there and then he finds that there are carvings above the burial. Mm hmm. All over the place. All too. over that whole. How did area. they not see that? I'm sorry that that annoyed me. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Twenty seven people have been down there looking around. You didn't notice the freaking carvings on the wall. And, and they're like these X patterns what? with squares. And then they yeah, they also there's overlay triangle, them and they, they connect them to Neanderthal. Also, did these same Russell scratches? Brand. And Russell humans. Brand was like, hashtag don't bury me. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> don't bury me. <laughs> don't leave me down here. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> so yeah, yeah these are very that, similar to Neanderthal and early Homo sapien. Yes, that came ye like 100,000 years later. Hundreds like of thousands years later. Yeah, 150,000 years later, right. humans were doing this. How how do you do that? <laughs> so this opens up all, and at the beginning of the documentary, they're like, "Man, by the way, that this has not been peer reviewed yet. This is still hypothesis. Yep. We're at the hypothesis stage. In uh, and they're they're going to do. The I have a hypothesis. What is it? What if Planet of the Apes <laughs> was actually in the past? See, dude, that was the very first thing my mm -hmm. wife said when she watched this documentary. She's all Planet of the Apes. Atlantis wasn't humans. They mm -hmm. were apes, man. Well, home on the ladies. So? I'm just I'm throwing it out there. Like, who knows? I've obviously I'm not the only one to think that. I, like, I, what if well, well, wait, they had fire, they bear mm -hmm. they had reverence for their dead. They, they had they, they, uh, some semblance of culture, so they were obviously on a path towards enlightenment in a sense that we seemingly have achieved as Homo sapiens. So what if what if a hundred thousand years have got have went by? We're not even around yet. Mm -hmm. And they they what if they had achieved technology? This is what I said like last yeah. last Why, week. Was like, it's what if not we were... that far fetched. How long? How long ago did we discover the wheel? 
there could be or, hyper intelligent mm-hmm. species that have come and gone that we'll never see that could have created a civilization that we'll never see because there yeah. was a, right like they didn't what wiped out all the all the all the homos <laughs> wiped down <laughs> what, the homo the right? <laughs> 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 but, and the only ones that were left man like, it was, was a meteor that gone, came down the magnum's gone like what what was it disease uh cataclysm vol- volcanism something you know all the something had to wipe them out Mm-hmm. maybe we did maybe i don't think so though uh, the one thing they they said is well maybe humans learned it from the homo naledis or maybe it's a shared they almost got there they almost got there they're like if they are doing patterns like a pre-civilization you and they're say. like is that something we're born with is it in our dna and i'm like you're getting there you're getting there they're there so close plan. to saying it say it say it Say it. <laughs> there was a plan. <laughs> well, like if you think about like twins, for example, that grow up apart, they're so similar in a lot of the things that they do. And so there is some sort of DNA connection. It's not far fetched to think that between different species. So, what's the mother species? Because well, this isn't know. a human species. So, like, how would it pass to us? So, uh, I agree with the. Or- Russell Brand, I, I come the creator, agree, but it's something I believe all along is like, you know, think of uh, consciousness as, as your Wi Fi, and we can just tune into that Wi Fi. Uh, our brains are able to do it, their brains were able to do it. Blue whales probably can do it, you know, like there's, there's certain animals that just can't and can communicate. And we're not necessarily going to understand each other all the time. And there has been plenty of time. We know shit. That's the thing is like the arrogance. Uh, of of science i didn't get it in in this documentary really like they seem like yeah. pretty open-minded people and they're like they understood the gravity but as garrett mentioned they were also one guy just straight up said i'm scared i'm scared because like all of his peers are going to come down on him right and that's what yeah. that's what uh graham mentioned in his tweet he's like i hope this guy's ready <laughs> i mean i'm paraphrasing but it's like oh i can see he's i think he said something like i can see the knives coming out now yeah. um yeah. and they will they will. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with like questioning every aspect of this, <clears throat> but uh, there's also like attacking character, what they do, and that's that's basically that becomes you know a Spanish Inquisition. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. But yeah, they they were definitely like when they found the the cave carvings and they were talking about it amongst each other, and he was like, I I'm gonna say it. It looks like Naledi are doing art. They're they've carved art into this which is like crazy paradigm shift if that is true and these look like they're intentionally carved they're not yes. some kind of formation oh, yeah. it's intentionally carved like you can't well and they, they made the ref the connection the tool that they yeah. found buried with the child looks like it would have been able to do exactly those marks i don't see anything i can't i was gonna say i don't see it it's weird do you have a timestamp? I can try and find it. Yeah, uh, one fourteen. I can see it now. Hang on, let me try to share it. Oh, oh, it just there took a while to populate. Yeah, weird. But yeah, look at that. Like that is intentional. The side, and it's all over the place. It's too, like, I, I think the, they, these are these are natural. Some of these are natural. Yeah. But these, right there. How do you not notice that? Yeah, they're know, like they stick out. Annoyed. Maybe they were just looking at the ground, uh, you know, and a lot of this was being observed over video, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I also am very impressed with the fact that the Homo Naledi, um, I guess even with fire, they traversed those caves mm-hmm. in that darkness with a body. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, no, the they had they had fire for the chat, by the way, the chat mentioned that, like, how in the hell did they get there without fire light? They uh, did. They then, had fire. They had fire. Like, they had it's not as good as fire. like, you know, having a headlamp. You have to so, hold one in hand and human, carry human a body. Believed and... to have had it, fire de- back to four hundred thousand years. That's what I looked up. I could correct me if I'm wrong. Chat humans, Homo sapiens, whatever. Okay. Uh, or or Neanderthals or whatever. But uh, I don't know about this like chimpanzee species that they'd never heard of. Um, and the first thing I thought of was like, oh, they're like little hobbits. And maybe this is yeah. where all the dwarf, uh, you know, where dwarves have come from through passed on through mythology. Maybe these were the little people that were in that were in uh, 
in caves and tunnels, carving away, burying. Well, they their show dead. they show an example of why having fire down there is a is a different level because you could you have to have a community to fall right. like where they showed that because they found little areas where they were making fires and they found food that they cooked in yeah. these fires oh uh, no not just cooked preserved preserved they could preserve food too so they were saying like this isn't just a one-off like they just dragged this body down here for whatever reason like this was an organization of a group of beings that had a family structure that they would build a fire here further down, build a fire there. So you'd have light throughout the cave and then they were possibly carrying them along the way. And it was a whole ceremony. Like these are not humans <laughs> that are doing this It's baffling. And it's, yeah, I, I love the idea of it. It's, it's, we're not special. It's not just us. We happen to be the ones that oh. are like important right now, but so we're dominating right now. We're it's dominating, not, yeah. Yeah. I, I love that he called it alien. Because in a way it is. It is. Yeah. It truly is. It's not it's not us. And they are thinking and, maybe, and acting like we do. You know? Maybe there's there's been uh people who've reached certain types of civilization stuff we could not even wrap our heads around, couldn't even recognize. This is the whole, you know, uh I can't say the hypothesis, but or even theory in the technical science term, but this is where Graham and Randall have been trying to get to is like, oh, they were advanced in a very different way mm -hmm. beforehand, maybe way more in tune with Earth. They didn't use things like leverage and electricity and stuff. Maybe they found different ways to do it uh, and still, of course, got wiped out. But, uh, you know. I think it just shows that we're we're only on this like uh, we're only on this rock for a speck of time, right? And uh, I'm sure every every civilization thinks they're the most special. I guess in that term, we're not special, but uh, you know we're we're still able to communicate and empathize like other other things can't. So I think there is a specialness there. Mm -hmm. I I really hope they don't really try to force this down the um the evolution because i think this blows evolution this is, this is separate this is a completely yeah, separate thing. Not, it, it's not a missing link it's a it's a completely different link and right. uh and i and i just think it's something uh it's it's mind-blowing and uh you know and and this has overtaken the news that they found you know a settlement in oregon oregon freaking oregon that's eight eighteen thousand years old Damn. and there's older settlements by the way there's there's a proof of older life in the americas um uh, yeah i i it's mind-blowing i don't know i haven't heard randall or graham talk about this yet i can't wait till they they get into this and i'd love to hear what they have to say about it i'd love for a, like a repository or a group to have all this information in one website because i think this is really yeah. cool and it's unfortunately really hard to find all the different pockets in the internet and um yep. yeah Unfortunately, there, people are uh, against there's it. There's something about it that bugs me that I, I don't agree with. Which part? And Russell Brand kind of talks about he, he agrees with them. And I, I don't I don't see how it proves that they believe there was an afterlife and that this was like an underlying theme of that they keep bringing up. And I, I can't see it that way. I think that it makes more sense that you don't want to see your dead be eaten by predators or slowly bloat and you know whatever decompose um i think that it's it shows a reverence for the community that they had with each other and they were like i i want i respect this person i'm gonna go you know bury them with their tools because we we love we loved this person we know that they loved this this rock they use, mm -hmm. you know, they, this was uh old Jerry's rock. We're going to, you know, give, give him his rock. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, like the belief of an afterlife I feel is, is a projection of sorts um, that, that they are like trying to put on. And I, I don't see any evidence of that. Yeah. Unless I, they, they, I think it's 50, they kept 50. driving that home. I, I think it's 50, 50 because, because that could indicate the, Putting putting a tool in his hand because there is an afterlife and he's going to use it because we've seen that in our culture, 
We've mm-hmm. also seen having reverence for the dead because of what yeah. we communally had experienced together. So like, it could literally be either way. Argument could be we, made I that, don't, like, hey, that was Bob's favorite tool. Yeah. So we're gonna. I don't think there's you. enough information to like say definitively they, it is. Like, or isn't. You could have used that tool, you know, like that. True, they, it's a lot. Old, yeah. but but um, it, I, he made that argument. But you'd think a society like that or like whatever they would be raising their kids to make a tool. Yeah. Like, all right, you, you're gonna need to make this tool. See, here's mine. I've had it since I was a kid. I make a new one. You're going to make your own. So everyone's going to have their own. It's a bit version of a of on the afterlife thing. The only connection that they made that I think they could have elaborated on was mm-hmm. comparing it to other burial rituals of other civilizations that yeah. happen later, right? With Egypt and, okay. and, and many others. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where they're, they're thinking about it, right? Uh, I'm not totally convinced either, but like, we don't know what all those carvings mean. Like it, and we yeah. never will. So uh, it, unless somebody can translate it, but that I that, that thing that is so alien. Yeah. Uh, that that could be as simple as that one the earliest language, person. earliest writing. How the hell the like oh, yeah. that we found? We don't know. We or it could have just been a bunch of scratches that they're like, hey, like look, I like these little. This is this is this it's family fun. over here. Yeah. We're gonna another create a one line. bites yeah. dust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, it's a bit of a stretch to say that they were aware of an afterlife, but uh, I think it's impressive enough to have reverence for your dead. Yeah. I think that's like, yeah. you know, I think uh, that's the next, the next step. step. We'll find out, I guess they're, yeah. they're going to continue with, uh, you know, I, I just don't know how in the hell, if how they would even figure out what those symbols mean, that would be next yeah. to impossible seeing that there's no other example of the species anywhere on this planet. Uh, but unless you could start connecting them to to later species, which they did do, they with did. The tools. They did. Tools and so I find that very interesting, though. That, was that, crazy. that 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 part was cool. That they they weren't exactly the same, but they were close enough that it's, it's enough. like okay, the the time difference between the when that marking was made and when the, these comparisons were made is immense. Well, it's also at the at the early stages of development of human species they did right like we when we were together in, in caves we like did we're a little scratch, the same stages the same stages oh here i found them um, the comparisons uh yeah there you right. go Sixty thousand years ago on the left uh, uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand on the right. And you can, you can, I can almost like a, put this onto a toddler, right? The toddler's scratching. That's the first thing it knows how to really do. It doesn't know how to make a shape. It doesn't know how to make a, a, an antelope. It go. What's the first thing I can do? I can draw a line, and I could cross that line, and I could cross that line, and that's the first mm-hmm. thing it learns how to do. And then it goes, mm-hmm. okay, well then I could make that line to a shape. And mm-hmm. then what is? Then I could pr- picture something in my mind, and then copy that onto a wall and they develop from there think about rising so, star think That's about a, rising star maybe the kid is just the brain is developing the more it develops the more it gets in tune now of right. course we learn things we learn language we you know things are passed down we learn this. but think about through your life this has happened to everybody you're like i know this thing how the hell do i know this thing is it through osmosis did i hear somebody else yeah. talking about it how do I know this thing? And and yes, there are the cases of people who bump their heads and been in the comas and they come out and they're talking a different language. They know how to play piano. Like, what the fuck makes that? Like, well, how the hell does that happen? Right? And, uh, you know, so I, I, I really think that we do tune into something. And I think, uh, you know, absolutely we have to learn stuff. Uh, I obviously don't know math. That's why X-Ray Girl's here. Because uh, <laughs> I didn't bother learning it. But there's other stuff I did learn, and honestly, I couldn't tell you. It wasn't a book I read. I don't. I don't know. I didn't do much school. So uh, uh, maybe there's there is some kind of shared, you know, shared knowledge, shared consciousness. I don't get too woo woo here, but uh, I I think one one of the things that does open up is there is definitely more species of 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 hominids of humans of you know people walking on two feet chimps walking mm-hmm. on two feet they might have been a lot smarter than we thought and maybe that they bear in china's walking on two feet. maybe they killed each other in a war 
who fucking knows? But it, it's what Russell Brand brought up. It's the mystery. It's the great mystery. There is so much more to our to our. I'm God. I'm gonna rhyme yeah. our history because of the mystery. But I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and it seems like they just want to stamp that, like they being the the uh, uh, you know the academics want to stamp that down and just don't even want to go there because you can't apply the very human scientific method to it. And I think that's now it's going to stop us in a lot of stuff because things are just weirder than we can possibly imagine. I think the UFO mystery is weirder. I think ancient civilizations is far weirder. And, you know, when I first got into this and I heard about like Smithsonian cover up giants, or there's a big history history cover up. I kind of thought it was bullshit. It's like, why would you cover up history? What, what do the powers that be, what, how do they benefit by covering up history but as time has gone on they can absolutely benefit by covering up history because it's 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 just about controlling the narrative it's controlling the human story and if you Power. keep it very simplified it's very easy to, to to keep people in line with that through shame going well i studied this in a school and i can regurgitate knowledge better than the next guy who can regurgitate knowledge so i'm just going to shut you up even though i've never been out in the field you know, compared to some other people who are just amateurs, I've got a little piece of paper from an institution saying I got a PhD. So suck it. You know, that, 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 that not going to work anymore. When you have people like Luke Cavard, you have people like, uh, Randall Carlson, uh, Ben from uncharted X, who's like, you know, did another job, found a new gig and just got really fucking curious, made a channel and, uh, and started going, checking this stuff out for themselves. And uh, yes, and they absolutely want to remove God. They want to remove the concept of God or a creator or a plan of any kind, whatever God you believe in, by the way. I, I'm not a, I'm not a Christian, but I definitely believe in a high power. I think there's some kind of plan. There's too many. I just I used to be a total atheist, by the way. Not anymore. Uh, well, too, too many things line up. The government's want up that, for me that position and, in people's lives. Life. Too many yep. things line up for me to say that there's nothing there. I think it's God. I think it is some something that has a plan. Yes. And that's why so many of us are connected in that way. And like even between species, we see ourselves in other creations because they are all one creation, all connected to that energy. Like you were saying, like consciousness in a different place that we tap into for a little bit, tap out when we die, tap back in, you know? So I think that is a higher power. Yeah, and that's I kind think, of like, and I think it would be that. totally scientific to go. Well, you know, and and a lot of scientists do this. I want. To, I don't want to say they. It's how are science all began was the some study of them go. Of God's well, creation. we don't know. You know, I mean, yeah. just simply say you don't know. That's fine. That's fine. Don't not knowing is fine. Mm -hmm. I think all hypothesis and theory should be accepted. Why is it at any point? I think when it gets to that level of scrutiny, that's when it's like when we're deciding if it's fact or not. When somebody comes up with a hypothesis and you just trash them their entire career because of their hypothesis, that the whole point of having a hypothesis would be to be like, hey, what if these things line up and they, wh what if this is the case? To then just label that person as a, a wacko or a woo-woo person. Or a white person. supremacist. Like, or a white supremacist, <laughs> right, dude. Yeah. Like, that's crazy talk. If he's not even saying like this is 100% fact, he's saying, "Hey, look into this. This is a possibility. Yeah. I haven't seen anything that's pointed against this." You know, and, and asking and questions, it, right? There, there's there's now, people so. like Travis Taylor out there, or Michio Kaku, who have embraced like things like yeah. ancient aliens and stuff. They're like, "No, it's you know what? It's brought people in to look at, and what we're, we're looking for is the truth." So I'm, I'm, you know, if there's no fucking aliens, and that's the absolute truth, it's a bummer, but that's the truth. Yeah. You know. If there was no ancient civilizations and we find that out as an absolute fact, oh, well, it's the truth. I just don't think, I think the evidence for ancient civilizations, uh, it, I think there's far more of it out there. I think it's way more exciting. I think there's like real science going on in there and like real, there's stuff like right in front of us uh, that screams that like history is not what we, we are told it was. Uh, we are as a, the human race have been around much longer and uh i just can't take my eyes off that <laughs> i know <laughs> sorry. sorry and uh yeah i think there's way more to the story i think that's great i think that's freaking yeah. fantastic and i think it's going to be weird i think uh someday probably past what i'm 
long gone dead when we find out some of this stuff i think it'll be way weirder than we even can, can conceive i think and it may be it, during while you're alive because the way that things like technology is escalating and becoming cheaper and cheaper for people that like the loot caverns or the uh randall carlson's to use and the more of that that is out there in the world, the more possibilities to discover new things. And and it it disperses it from the academic, we're the only people that have the authority to talk about or look into these things. Like more and more people, just like any other vertical we have, like movies and TV and all that stuff, it's becoming easier and easier for the individual to replicate and do something at that level. So I think yeah. the possibility is very strong that we find agree, more information. By the way, dolphins are always smiling. They always look at you. They're judging, <laughs> they're judging and uh, yeah, they know something we wow. don't. They know. play but, tricks on us all the no, time. No, Douglas they're, Adams they're, had they're it rapers, right. man. They rape. Oh, that's true too. That's true too. Uh, Douglas Adams, uh, humans think we are more intelligent than dolphins because we invented things like cheeseburgers and war, and they think they're more intelligent than us for precisely the same reasons. It's one of the great. I paraphrase that. Cheeseburgers. Wars? Good. No, no, no. That no, we, de- we invented we, wars we and hamburgers, it, and they so didn't we think we're us. more intelligent. And ah, they're like, no, sorry. you're dumb for inventing wars and hamburgers. So she got there. I don't she know. I there. saw a video of a she dolphin there putting his hoo hoo into a dead fish. So <laughs> I don't think uh, that's smart. Chair Noble for five dollars says there's a game on Steam called Conrad Stevens Paranormal PI. It is the most real paranormal hunting experience you'll ever. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Should we play with Gary? Is it, be- is it, is it <laughs> yeah. better than the one that scared Az and Garrett so much they sound like a bunch of little girls for three hours? <laughs> jump, jump in, man. You it's actually it really outside, scary. You, you should there. try oh, dude, it. Crap. It's and not that scary. Bro. Shut it. It's not. It's it is that scary, all right. Were you at uh, were you at Orlando? <laughs> uh were you at were you at Orlando, X ray girl? Uh not for Halloween haunt. No. But- so I walked through all the all the the haunted houses. I walked through all of them. I didn't get scared once. Not it's fucking once. It's different because I, I didn't get scared things, about those though. either. There's, there's, you know you're yeah. gonna. Not it was gonna me and you in the you. front. There was people screaming though, and it's like I, we're I just laughed. walking through. There's gonna be somebody around this corner. There were. I <laughs> it laughed. Was me and Gary well, in the front. Going like, okay. Getting mad. So I'm like, whatever, dude. But there's something about when they <laughs> breathe in your ear and start messing with you. It's, well, it's they were really well done. They were really real. freaking cool. And I would do it, it again good. in a second. I had a really good time walking through all the themed ones. It was fucking cool as hell. Halloween, like the movie Halloween. That was cool. Yeah. I don't know. I guess being the prison. <laughs> cures you. <laughs> <Shit>. Okay. <laughs> My, that my thing is makes like a lot scariest, of sense. The scariest part is like the lead up to going in. Once you're in there, it's not that scary. Go thinking to shank you. Um. So, yeah, I, the, the questions this thing creates is mind blowing, and it's going to rock science. And this guy's going to get uh, put under the microscope, and I hope he's ready for it. And they're not even done investigating it. But now we have another species of hominid that is is potentially very intelligent very intelligent and maybe maybe they did live on and uh maybe you know what south uh, south uh south africa is filled with these little stone circle things just well, i don't think it's in south africa this cave i think it's in southern it africa southern africa it- okay well southern africa is filled with these stone circle things all of it so michael tellinger does this he's he's wacky He's a wacky guy, uh, but um, he's the he's from South Africa, and that that's where his claim to fame is. He found all these like, Since they South have Africa. no idea what they were for. It is? Okay, they're, they're 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 old as hell, and they're all over the place. Here, I'll find a picture of. Uh, I just hope they find another cave that's like similar to this, where they have burial. Because if this species was widespread. And say, like, one family used this one cave or one community used this cave. There has to be other caves of their other communities or of some similarity. There, there used to be, but those they got wiped out That's over true. the ages. And this one survived just because it was in that yeah. perfect Imagine spot. in, like, Egypt wow. with all that desert. <laughs> okay. 
probably misspell his name and I don't care, but the chat will judge me and that's fine. That's fair. Um, so you see, you see these? Yeah. They're all over. These are oh. man-made and they're all over. What's Were the, they buildings? What's the conventional? They don't know what that, like, uh, did they hold livestock? They don't know. Like a city. How center? big are they? Like what? What kind of looks like, like the Viking, reference. the Viking circle town. Yeah, the, the, you're I next mean, to Adam. They're about the size yeah. of uh, the earthen structures uh, around America, right? O around mounds and stuff like that. Okay, uh, they can get smaller too, but um, yeah. So my, I, I stood in, I stood in the middle of one of those circles here in Sweden, and like it it took it took me five six minutes to run from one side to the other and i was straight jogging to get to the other side like it was massive like when you approached it it didn't yeah like oh wow there it is and then you get inside and you're like oh wow this is so much bigger than i thought it was let's see if i can find a good one uh here it's like that fourth picture doesn't look that big but like this one this could be massive that looks massive yeah They're big. Is, is that is that uh, two pictures over? Uh, I would top right picture right now. With right, the star so in the middle. The one with the star in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's drawn okay, in. So, okay. they're, so they're doing. They drew over it just to like show the. How tall the are these circles? Do you they're know? not that tall. They're they're oh. not that high. Okay. Um, that's why they're like, well, they, you couldn't. Did was water kept in them? Was livestock? Well, not really. So they don't really know. They don't really know. And they're really odd looking. I mean, it would make sense that they were maybe not fortifications, but some semblance of uh, a town. Yeah. You know, for people to live, especially that one on the left there with like they're all kind of connected. Yeah. Yeah. This one right here. Yeah. 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 Different houses. It's a hundred thousand years old. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, maybe wow. this was them. Maybe this was the Maybe. yeah, the Naledis almost made made these. Maybe they're bathhouses. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it and yes, a hundred thousand years old, man made. So we 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 don't know that's 150,000 years after after they uh, figured out how to make wow. fire that we know well, and here's and the deal. started burying their dead. We're, we're, we're finding out through people like Ben and Graham like how they're dating stuff and and they're just saying well these dates are solid and it's like no you can't date stone so you're dating the organic material under around it, it around yeah. it that could get disturbed so uh, right potentially you know could these be older i think yes i think everything can be older yeah plus like i would be very interested to see how uh or where the water was during that time a hundred right. thousand years ago because Obviously, the water oh, line has oh, changed. God. I can't remember where. So we know the water was 400 uh, feet lower during the Ice Age. But there was a time it was higher than it is now. Yeah. I can't remember what that time was, though. It was re like, relatively recently. When Oh, when they um, they filmed Waterworld. That was it. No. That, yeah. Um, no, it was like relatively recently, like within the ha last half million years or something like that. I can't remember the date, though. Very interesting. Um, really. Uh, but if you, if you, when we, you know, one of the good things from AI probably will be able to map the ocean eventually. We'll have a, something that can just rove around. It doesn't need a human watching it all the time that can uh, map the ocean. I mean, that's before they build the robots to kill us all, which is so like the Google car, but like a Google sub. Yeah. That'd Google be cool. <laughs> and I think we'll find out a lot. Yeah. I, yeah. I and then it just disappears blown open like um 75 percent of the world Graham, right uh, Graham was really pushing for like underwater archaeology the only underwater archaeology that's really being done is treasure hunting for ships and if they're when they're treasure hunting for ships they find older stuff that's how they found the antikythera mechanism yep True. so uh like through lidar lidar no that no they found oh yeah yeah the the clam fishermen they found it because they were looking for clams oh was it clams yeah, yeah. 
Oh they no, were taking harbor from a. It was the a, monolith that they found in the Mediterranean that it was treasure hunters, and then they found mm. this giant fucking stone structure just like in the middle of the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean. They they say it's old, and I can't I can't deny that. But there's like cities all over all over it under the water. I mean that's stuff I heard when I was uh, in Sicily. They're like, yeah, there's a town like you know if you go you know thirty kilometers that way, there's a there's a structures under the water. I'm like, how how yeah, unless there was no water there at some point or <laughs> very little. Yeah, I was watching one of Jimmy's videos earlier, and I didn't know there was a, a pyramid on Greece in greece yes there Did is you know that yeah yeah no yeah it's That's like oh cool. <laughs> oh look and then there's polygonal walls all over the place but greece and then freaking and old, then you dude. compare them to easter island and they're very similar and it's like well how the hell does that make sense well we talked about this what? before gobekli tepe <laughs> those like, folded what? arms yeah the folded the waist, arms which are just like the ones in in uh oh God. in easter island easter island and in asia Yep. There's the there's the Polyne stone, Polynesia. There's stone men that kind of look like owls, right? Right. Yeah, that's those the best description of it. But they have the same arm. looking ones. And and they're buried kind of up to their waist and kind of knocked over, right? Like there was a flood. Wow. Yeah. Right. That's, that's the pyramid of Greece. And it looks blown up, looks straight up. Yeah, the top just blown right off. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. The world is so yeah. cool. The world is so cool. And, you, look, you know, thanks you to see. things like, you know, like Google Maps, dude, you know, and, you know, I love my Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> that, has, that has changed everything. Like, giving anybody access to that is that's changed a lot. Yeah. That's that, that, that you know, um, you know, uh, Chuck at CF apps. That's what he did. He just went over Google Maps and he found weird stuff. Uh, and, and it's God, I'm so sad that guy's dead. Uh, go check out his channel. His channel is just filled with stuff that's really interesting and good but uh thanks to that like what once it's the gatekeepers like you know okay you fucking know like the catholic church our government the vatican knows some stuff uh, the, the vatican knows the truth they fucking know some shit that like they're, they're the holdover from the roman empire okay they, they've got like they've got all they're the basically they what got, it's still the roman empire the library of alexandria locked up by the way part of the vatican library is in canada x-ray girl you need to break in for us okay yeah I, i'll try i mean with trudeau's divorce He's very busy. Oh, well, he's gonna marry his boyfriend. So, oh um, yeah, the, he, he you see him at Barbie. Barbie. Oh <laughs> my god, <laughs> it all makes sense. His, his, his twink. <laughs> it's, it's it's like he he he's toying with the internet, or he's completely blind. He's Fidel Castro's son. That's what he is. <laughs> I guess there's no light on in the closet. I think you can't really see anything. Trudeau's in the he's, closet. He's in there. I'm pretty sure he's come. I'm pretty sure he, he's kick the door down <laughs> think in a couple uh, years Johan naxos for 20 dollars says speaking of mapping the ocean uh go look at the uh bathometric map of the coast of new jersey to a place called the hudson canyon tell me what you see there the uh, yd is absolutely real look up and down the coast lots of carved water flows uh, let me see if so it's, I... it's, a, it's a bathometric map of the coast of New Jersey and you, okay. and you basically see water flows that are underwater now. Yes. There's the tons of that. Look at that. Woo. Interesting. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, we're Randall, all of Randall's fun maps for, on his live streams. I want to like, no, dude, if I start going down that rabbit hole, I'll never get anything done. I'll just look at that. Shit <laughs> Check I, this I one. Oh, Long Island in New Jersey. Like the underwater. How water. great were the Serpent Bros, by the way? They were freaking awesome. Dude, they were oh, awesome. They were wonderful. Great. That was a great show. That was, a, yeah. that was an awesome show. They're very watch. cool. <laughs> very cool. They're not far. So hopefully we can have them back and maybe we can like. You know, maybe the Serpent Bros and us and Luke could all do a live stream. It'd be really fun. When are you getting that table? Cool. When am I getting that table? I don't know, Garrett. Okay. No, <laughs> Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> I don't want buying it. <laughs> I, I'm happy. No, I, I'm happy with the table. I, I, 
That's right. They, you just got a new table. I just alphabetized all my Blu-rays and DVDs. <laughs> oh, that sounds so fun to me. It was tons of fun. I love tedious was, stuff. Like I did that. it I really tedious. fast because I've got skills. There are not many of them are marketable skills, but I've got skills. Uh, are they I, in their boxes still? Of, of course. Well, I don't know. Some people put them in. Books. Some people take them out and put it. Yeah. Like to make it uh, easier. Well, CD the, key to, the key to uh. a physical media collection is being able to find your shit and not like buying three versions of time bandits for in 4k like I did. Yeah. I, I find it. So now I have three. So now I have two to give away at the meetup, which is really fun. There you go. Whoa, um, but uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, you got to know where that stuff is, but I I'm really good at, uh, cause I learned how to, alphabetized comic books really fast uh i taught all my employees and there's a really fast and easy way to do it sorry this is forbidden from pure but i'll tell you really quick uh so you got two long boxes of comics they're just completely messed up it's simple you, you get yourself a nice empty floor right or a table one of the big long tables and you just make a pile of a a pile of b a pile of c First, you have to figure out what your alphabet, what your what your method is going to be alphanumeric. Mm, uh, right. It's pretty strange when it comes to comics, so it's better to have like a, just a Spider-Man section, not an amazing Spider-Man. You go alph alphabetical within that section, but you just do piles of A, B, a through Z, and it makes it a thousand times faster. And you just work on the A pile first and the B pile first. And if you have three people doing it, you can do two long boxes in under ah. in under forty five minutes. That sounds like what we do with patient um, requisitions, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Alphabetize, go. We're, oh. we're sorting Magic the Gathering. Uh, actually, we, should, we should do that. Garrett and I speed alphabetize. Yeah, we <laughs> hey, Mama. You're awake. I... She was taking a nap. Aw. Sunday naps. Sunday naps. Sounds like... She was, well, she was up watching early. that documentary. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> she was getting really tired watching the documentary. Mm. Um. Low Watermark has donated one hundred dollars. He just dropped Whoa. the hundy and left. That's it. Thanks, That's Low it. Watermark. Threw it up on stage. Goes here. You go. That's a. It Clean might be low, up. but it's quite bold. It's bold. Low and bold. Yeah, there's nothing low about Low Watermark at all. Hail, brother. Well, it's Thank in you. his name, so. That's it. Except for that, my is it, a mic drop. That that's is the only thing that's low about you. Right. Uh. Yeah, you know, maybe we could do like Tellinger gets into some really interesting stuff, but then he goes into like woo woo land. He gets whew, mm. he talks about uh, he starts getting into the no need for money thing, and it's like I, you know, like that that's a great concept for a thousand years from now, but <laughs> I don't, right, it's not something I'm really interested in. I feel like we need something to barter right at now. least. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's going to be that or vintage porn. I agree with the, it's a Gundam, <laughs> you know. The hey, I caps. saw, I saw Twisted Metal. How is that? Metal. I've never played the game. I barely remembered it was a game. I played I it back in the, the day. Clown. So I'm like, well, I don't even remember this game. Oh, it's the crazy clown game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a solid seven out of 10. Were there some girl bosses? Yes. Oh, okay. Was there a woke? episode where they forced in some lesbians yes but it was kind of fun too it was really violent and sweet tooth the clown is freaking great steals all the scenes okay he, good he should he's as great. he should yeah yeah he's pretty good and uh seven is better than i could have no, expected I, I, they're half hour episodes and it feels ash versus evil dead ish it's not okay. as smart it's not as well written uh, the first two episodes are a little clunky, but uh, Anthony Mackie's really good in it, and the girl who plays Quiet is really good in it. She's probably the best character in it. Right. So, I might check I, it I out if I got time. I give it a, a you know, it's if you can watch it for free, watch it for free. I wouldn't pay for it. But, you know, that's it. I don't think I'm gonna watch it. To be honest. Yeah. Okay. I gotta watch. Venture you don't have Brothers. to. I'm not forcing I, you to watch it, Adam. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. I'm not. Uh, it's one of those games that like everyone knew about, but not everyone played. But you, you saw the title or like the, the cover, and it's like, oh yeah, I the Twisted Metal. I was not I allowed I, to play it. I don't think I actually played it. 
I don't think I played it. Why weren't you a lot? Was it too violent or it something? It was too violent or something. My mom's weird about that too. Cause she'll be like, yeah. "Oh, you're not allowed to do that, but then you can play GTA." But you're like, "You're not allowed to play GTA, but then you could play so GTA." Was there a was there an origin for Sweet Tooth in the game? Uh, there is, but I don't know what. It well, the is. origin. You convoluted. want to know what the origin is in the in the show? I don't know if it is for the game. It might be the same. It's Spoiler kind of alert, everyone! Spoiler alert. He's a former child star. <laughs> His former okay. child star who got upstaged by his co-star, the dog, and killed his dog on live television. So he got sent to an asylum right, and then right. went crazier. So, uh, wow. Yeah, they straight up murdered the dog. They don't show hey, it. Whoa. So, yeah. I'll never kill the dog. No, it's, I can it's, see it's, that happening, though. Crazy enough. So, uh, Jonah, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, there's another one. Uh, from Jonah Knox. Am I saying Johan? That- Johan yeah. Knoxus. Well, Johan. Why did I say Jonah? There's no N behind that H right there. I've done Johan it too. Knoxus for I've twenty dollars. Sorry. Right. I just, I just, you know what? My English so hard. In- English very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Johan's a good one, man. The depth change delta between the coast of New Jersey and the mouth of the canyon is four hundred and eighty-five feet. Same canyon structures exist off of New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, too. Lots of water, very fast. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, well, they, they weren't, all those regions were not very far from this giant, uh, two foot tall mountain of ice that had been there for tens of thousands of years. And it looks like it melted relatively quick. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, Randall has pretty much convinced me that, uh, it, when he was talking to Joe Rogan, he said, you know, when the impact happened, it could have been just a matter of weeks, weeks. Could you imagine your world ending for weeks and then going into a thousand years of darkness? I mean, that's fantasy novel shit. There was a thousand years of darkness. That would be dark- freaky. No wonder room. we don't remember. Yeah. Are a species with amnesia. Amnesia. I like how Graham says it better. It's better than amnesia, <laughs> you know? It's like saying schedule. Asia. I like to say schedule. schedule. Aluminium. Just a better way to say it. Makes you sound a little smarter, especially than I am. Uh, oh, my God. How am I supposed to say this name? I don't know what word that is, but it, I, I tried to spell it or word it out. Still, Still Marilla Farda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like Silmaril- Silmarillion, but it's Silmarilla Farda. For fifty dollars. Right. Well, Gary, sent you an email last week. Hope it was worthwhile. I used to live in Escondido and occasionally drove to Palmdale for work. And while listening to Coast to Coast, man buns are super gay and an oxymoron. No man should have a bun. I gr- I could not agree more. Um. So we might have crossed jealous. If that was back, you don't have a man now. bun anymore. I well, still not- fight for the right. Okay. <laughs> this bigotry is in it needs give to it end up. give it up give it up <laughs> give it up uh maybe we pr- crossed paths in escondido back in the 90s uh because i was very poor so i lived in a pretty crappy house filled with mold and it paid 750 a month for it but i was stoked to have it it was way a bigger whole than house? a whole I, it was okay it's a very small house with two bedrooms. Uh, but um, I was it was way better than my 500 square foot apartment where the cockroaches didn't pay rent. So I listen to Art Bell every night. Used to go back in the backyard uh, on this crappy patio and smoke cigarettes and listen to Art Bell. Neil Horn for $50 smoking is bad. Don't do it. Hello, Gary and crew. I look forward to the show each week. Years ago. I was a deer. I was deer hunting on the mountain near my home here in Virginia, and found an arrowhead. It made me think, "Who was this? Uh, whose was this? When did he uh, tread and hunt here? Why did he drop his arrow?" I added that one. And did he get? And did he get a deer? I hope so. Uh, have any of you found arrowheads? I have. I have. No, I've always I have a long time ago. I feel like they were more prevalent. 20 years ago 20 30 years they ago. probably were but there's still areas you can go to where um you go out to borrego you'll find them 
There's parts of Arizona you'll find them. I'm sure you can still find them. West all Texas is where I found it. West Texas is probably where you can find Desert a ton area. of them. Uh, New Mexico, uh, up towards uh, north of Albuquerque and stuff, you can find tons of them up there. So I yeah. bet if I started, you probably just sifting through my forest, I'd find some stuff. Yes, you should get a metal detector. Oh, I you know those people that th- get the magnet in the yeah, river. Yeah. They do that magnet like fishing. river <laughs> magnet fishing. Oh, I want I I need one of those magnets. No, that's I still want to do that. I was gonna say when I'm old, but I'm already there. So when I'm older <laughs> when you have <laughs> more you time. Right now you could do I want to be the guy running around with a metal detector for sure. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I definitely want a metal detector. Uh William 101 has gifted 10 Nerdronic Live memberships for $50. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> and guess who's back? Cheers, William 101. Appreciate that. So does the chat. Uh, guess who's back? Zorbu's back. Yeah, Zorbu. Zorbu. Twenty-five dollars. Just hail Earthlings. Just wanted you to know that uh, of all the Earthlings Zorbu has ever met and known, you are some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zorbu. <laughs> Amazing. Means it Thanks. Means a lot oh, coming wait, from you. Back again. Yeah. This is on the Streamlab side too, by the way. Circumventing Mama Susan, or no, Papa Susan. Uh, forgot to mention my favorite earthlings that my hatch day is fast approaching thinking of cupcakes this year to celebrate don't judge i like cupcakes me too right. they're perfect this is the, this is the face one. i make when when zorbu comes around yeah <laughs> oh yeah. he knows what's coming we all make that face to be honest. Hey, zorbu. We, fair at him. <laughs> <laughs> we all make that face <laughs> Holy crap. So uh, since that hearing uh, happened, I've seen, you know, it's funny. I've, you know, I follow a lot of the UFO guys and they've been fighting like crazy over this. It's been Still. nuts, man. Oh, yeah. That, like, like it's for and against not, and for and against oh. uh, Mike Barry. You know, Mike Barry used to be on Ancient mm-hmm. Aliens. He's like completely against it. Says so total op. And uh, I, I mean, I'm I feeling I'm feeling that, man. Me too. It's like it he's just repeating the same stuff that we've heard from independent sources from the government. So and so, then every yeah. time something happens with this Grush guy, it's happening at the same time as a Hunter, Hunter Biden, Biden thing. Well, it's just kind of like a weird coincidence. You know? And he still works for them. Well, there's a, there was a bunch of intelligence guys like right next to and I I, I like George Knapp. I think George Knapp is legit. Right. I th- I think we're getting kernels of truth, but I think it is definitely a distraction for something else or or the faction inside got so close. It's like, let's give them something. Let's get, you know, and 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 Dolan has talked about this, too. And Dolan says they'll, they'll they'll give us something right up to the crash retrieval stuff. They'll never admit that they have that. They'll never ever because if they did, then it's like, oh, we have been totally fucking lying to you for for ninety years, and we Which have we weapons, and then Russia and, and China will be like, hey, you got dog weapons. And pony show we always fucking go to is like, well, we know the government's lying to us, but that's just the way things are. You know, it's 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 yeah. fuck, I hate it. But um, yeah, with the UFO disclosure, it's going to have to come from another country it's going to have to come from a, a guy or an entire city sees a freaking ufo land and a bunch of little drones come out and and like the questions that are asked like if they're this advanced how do they crash uh i i i believe this for a long time and i've mentioned it here before i think the grays are drones i think they're manufactured ai drones i don't think i i think even if you could travel that that far why would you risk one of your own people when you could just, when you have technology to make something that could just think something back to you you know yeah so maybe that's why and and maybe they just they they fuck up once in a while and maybe there's been millions of missions to earth and nine of them crashed you know that's that's believable i don't know i don't know but the government telling us exactly what we want to hear isn't like <laughs> just well especially with good. Every, every you know 10 minutes or so throughout the entire hearing as uh we would never be able to defend ourselves like we need more defense budget like that that was like yeah, in parentheses it, yeah. the whole time and i'm like ah uh-huh. 
Okay. That's where we're going to like Aliens, piecemeal huh? it out. Oh, running because out of proxy of, roar, wars to fight. <laughs> instead yeah. of saying like, yeah. we have aliens, we need to start making money, give us money to fight the aliens. They're doing it slowly so they can get more money because every like five, ten years, they'll drop a little piece and be like, hey, we need money because there might be some aliens. And then another ten years, they go, hey, we need some money because there might be some aliens. Mm -hmm. That's why they're piecing it out, not just telling us. I don't trust the government, okay? I don't either. Mm -hmm. like no, do I. Any, I don't think you, any UFO investigator should ever trust the government. Everything, they never have. Grains of salt, all of it. Massive never, hunks of salt. Yes. Like a salt lick for a horse. Like a I'll giant believe Kathleen Kennedy's salt. getting fired before I believe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The government. <laughs> uh, Pupa Chalupa for $5 says, Gary, how close are you to... to uh, you totally for the solar eclipse in October. I I know it goes over through Texas. I'll be able to see the my very very first total eclipse in my life. In your life? Well, yes, I've seen partial, but I've never seen a total. Why is that? Just the location or the location? Southern California. We we've I don't we haven't got really? one in my lifetime. Okay. Yeah, that's but cool. I, I remember one in elementary school that was pretty good. It got pretty dark, but no, it's gonna get it's gonna be a total eclipse over. Uh, the greater San Antonio area and, and central Texas. So twice we get it later. We get it again uh, the next year too. Wow. Imagine if we know. built like a temple to like, look at that <laughs> when it happens, I got to make sure I'm home though. Cause uh, I mean, we're going to be home in October for the most part, but there, <clears throat> there's a little concert I want to go to. Like I know a concert that in is. Indio, yeah. Did you hear Garrett? Mm -hmm. Like Ozzy backed it. out. Yeah, I heard about that. But he's replaced by Judas Priest, <laughs> which I've seen. Dude, I watched them in this huge arena, and it was indoors, and they had this crazy light laser show. And he rode up, you know, he rides up on his hog on the stage. It was great. That was like ten years ago, though. And sings about gay sex. Hey, just don't listen to lyrics, okay? Just listen to the rock. <laughs> I'm your turbo lover. <laughs> Did the I same thing when I listened free. to Elton John. Love Rob Halford. Don't... He's a freaking metal know. god, that guy. Dude, they put on um, a fucking awesome show. Yeah, so it's called Power Trip or something. I, I just called Metal Coachella, but uh, it's in early October. Kind of want to go. A lot of good bands. They're really old now. A lot of good bands. Yeah, but Iron Maiden, Judas Priest. Guns of Roses. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Rob Robinson for what? $400. Holy oh, no, moly, dude. Whoa, Rob. Is that? I love you. Holy oh. shit. Dang. Damn. thought Thank it was the you. pink eye. I didn't know it was a four. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't care. I just saw the red, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. jeez. Wow. Uh, how is the pink eye, by the way? It's better, I think. That's good. It's okay. still a little dry. You know what? I think. Keep your damn fingers out of your eyes, and you'll be all right. Wash those hands. No, stop. stop. I've had so pink eye before. It sucks. Here. Pink eye sucks. Dude, it sucks. sucks. I've oh, never don't, had it. Don't, don't put the Purell in your in your eye. Oh yeah, I've just been doing like, Dude, <laughs> like eye drops. I have pink eye so bad. I had to get surgery. The infection got so bad. That's what I heard again. What? Really okay. Sorry, Rob. It's gonna start off with a growth story. <laughs> So I did drugs in the past, which completely destroyed my tear ducts, right? So I had a tear duct collapse because of pink eye. Oh. And it was because of the oh. previous drug use. And they had to, and this is before my insurance would allow, I, I was parts delivering. So they could do an angioplasty thing, but it cost too much. So they're like, we're going to do it the old way, which is drilling a freaking hole in my face, which is what they did. How big was the drill? It was tiny. Was it, like it was tiny. But they cut the corner of my eye, flipped my skin back, drilled the freaking hole. Didn't work. Ah! Oh, no. What didn't did they do after? The, the angioplasty. And it worked. They said sorry. Oh. Uh, I, I didn't hope. have to go under. It took 30 seconds and I was done. So you just stick a little needle and just blow after a balloon up. a year up, of recovering it? from surgery wow. and uh, infections and having to wear sunglasses and eye patches. It was freaking, no, nah, it was not fun. Okay, Can sorry. you cry? Oh. Uh, what can you cry now or, or can you uh, did you lose your ability to cry um 
you don't want to know what I can do now. I can I cry. I cry. Of, I, I, I can blow out of my eye. Oh, you can do the thing where and you can like yeah. shoot noodles in and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. That's cool. Like a like a piece of spaghetti. Yeah. When I, like, sneeze, <laughs> when I sneeze, I have to wash the inside of my glasses. Okay, it's pretty. Uh, good. What? <laughs> you oh, okay. no, I don't have that. <laughs> it's Zorbu <laughs> stuff, man. That's, That's, weird. Weird. That's, That's weird. weird. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Rob Robinson, four hundred dollars. <laughs> We're sorry. I... <laughs> sorry, Rob. Anyway, Rob. Anyway, we had an employee appreciation day at our company. Most are temps. They are the temps. Are uh, the temps are the rock stars? Uh, shut down the plant for two hours. They deserve it. Food, games, music. It was good day. Take care, everyone. Oh, that's awesome, man. <sighs> Take care of your people. Make them happy. Pay them pretty good. Give them some leisure time. You know, team building is very important too. You know, mm -hmm. softball team, go out and bowl, go out and do that stuff. That's that that's that's good stuff. I love bowling. Bowling's awesome, man. I, I miss want it. bowling out. I, I freaking love bowling. I was on a bowling team for a while. Really? I, I love it. Uh, oh did yeah. You have your own oh, ball? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I just looked at it. Sitting right over there. Ah. Was on a bowling team. I was on a bowling team. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> did you see that fond look I just uh I <laughs> no, he's just, just like, like hey. look at memories. We you can hear it rolling <laughs> down. <laughs> When we oh, buddy! Contact, when we were at contact in the desert, they had this like little mini bowling alley. That was fun. Oh, I cute. Told, like, like one you could probably buy. It's probably expensive, but you can buy. Yeah. Uh, I know a guy you used to know who had. Um, oh my god, what's the name of that game now? Why am I? What's the one where you toss the ball into the ring? Ski ball. Ski ball. Uh, Classic. I had a little mini one there. We don't want to bring up any old bosses or anything. But um, that yeah, it's like a bowling alley that you could legitimately fit in a, a garage a garage like, think, like yeah. a little mini one yeah and mm -hmm. i'm like oh this is rad we had a good time playing I, that was a ton of fun loving it. yeah it was great uh, what was it like a proportion size ball it's, it's like, like just like, smaller no, no it's a, yeah but it's, it's like a softball like one third the size of a bowling ball right so it's like ski ball huh. bowling um cool. i mean it's not as good yeah. as bowling but it was like i'm like oh I, dude if i had this in my house i'd play this all the fucking all the time, time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're like super all good at that that yeah. sounds i awesome. felt like i was bowling yeah. strikes like non-stop it was good yeah it was tons of fun dude hell tons yeah fun. contact in the desert yeah next year more of y'all gotta go uh there was a lot of you there, but there was, know. but they need like Gaia's got like Gaia runs it now and they're like draconian. So they won't let somebody like Mike, uh, Mike Barra come anymore. Like he's banned by Gaia cause I, cause he criticized them for good reason. Uh, so that sucks. Cause Mike Barra used to put on some like really like the last time I was at contact, he put on the best one he did. He found all the structure, you know, he does uh, all the structures on the moon and all the structures on, on Mars and stuff. And it's a, just a really fun, good talk that we can't have anymore because Gaia got mad at Mike Barra because he's Mike Barra's pretty based. So <laughs> he goes, he goes out there. He goes out there. It's great. It's great. Uh, thank you again, Rob. You're awesome. You are awesome. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Uh, oh. Man, he got some people mad at him. He got some people mad at him, especially when he did that COVID stuff. I think YouTube got mad at him and ripped his channel away. I think he's on his, like, third channel or something, or maybe he got it back. Uh, Japanese Demon Lord. Uh, for ten dollars, says Gary. I discovered a show similar to Stargate, but a little more your taste. It's a show called Gate, a uh, full modern military versus Lord of the Rings fantasy world. Gandalf don't do uh, good against a gun. What the hell? <laughs> okay, Gate. I'll check it out. Wizards versus guns. It's a show. Okay. Just Wizards called Gate versus guns. Oh, it's anime. Ah. Oh, there's a. You gotta specify that man. one that. Wizards, right? Doesn't one of the wizards have a gun? And I haven't seen wizards in a long time. Thought he had a gun in that. Uh, Decky69 for ten dollars. Skinwalker has lost my interest in its over dramatization and basically no evidence. Uh, can't dig here or wait. Digging makes people watch. Dig everywhere. Bring in a previous governor. Shoot a lot of rockets too. Yeah. Um, I'm here for the rockets and dragon. Okay. I'm I'm fine. Yeah. I'm 100 with that super chat. 
I mean, that last experiment had drones, rockets, scanners, a uh, helicopter. What else was there? Awesome, awesome, the awesome. Lasers. Awesome. Dig. <laughs> That's what they need to do. Drill. Yes. Dig, dig dang dig. it. Dig. Stop wasting money yeah. and dig. Like legit dig. Uh, Decky69 for five dollars says Skinwalker is actually the original bonus hole. I agree. Mm -hmm. Loki, uh, you know, I I found it interesting That's Oak with that that balloon experiment that they didn't bring that guy in that got the results until the last episode. Yeah, and they mm -hmm. they got some like dude missing a quarter a second of time, like just it going away. Yeah. That interesting. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Well, and getting um, those pings underground, like underground. twenty me yeah. twenty meters down, and basically going from where that shadow is straight under the mesa. I know Brandon. Literally, something's there. It's, Brandon obviously, it's a setup walking, for next season. Like we're his favorite show. To no, I'm just kidding. But um, back to ten episodes. Back to ten episodes. Yeah. I think that would be. I understand why they went to four. I mean, the show got really popular. Like it's getting great ratings. It's a really popular show. It's got, but um, back to ten episodes. Yeah. The la by the way, the latest season of Ancient Aliens was freaking great. It was like they really did a lot of uh, megalithical strike. Uh, watch the one about giants. Watch the one about the giants. And uh, it's it's well, it's more about the the megaliths and the giants themselves. But um, it's about Malta. Malta's like I've got to oh, go yeah. to Malta. Malta's crazy, dude. And there's another island. I keep forgetting the name of it. Help me, chat. It's in the Mediterranean. It's like Malta. And this is the place where they had they have structures that are with full plumbing, full plumbing, full tile. They have pretty preserved bedrooms that have this beautiful art and tile. Cyprus? And this predates the Romans and the Greeks and everything. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Cyprus? Cyprus, maybe it's fucking crazy. Crete, so so, someone yeah. said Crete. Maybe Crete, and uh, maybe both. Le Lesbos. Uh, <laughs> what? That is what they said. Okay. <laughs> that I, that island is filled with truckers. So. That's oh true. my god. Yeah. A lot of gruff people there. There's lesbian truckers in uh in um in Twisted Metal, but at least for the most part, they cast it very. Accurately. Accurately. Okay. <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay. Uh, maybe we can go to Lesbos, you know, on another trip. Check them out. Well, maybe we can find... <laughs> no, I won't do it. I won't do it. This is, a, this is supposed to be a serious <laughs> show. I was gonna... Okay. <laughs> it is? You know what kind of, like, temples they might have in Lesbos? Uh, for, for my work... Uh, on a grading curve, Adam, yes. This is the most serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Comparatively, I, I get it now. All right. Yes. Sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, like compared to like Friday Night Tights, where we got age restricted because we, uh, well, you know what? We I deserved think it, was, it. I think, yeah. We deserved it. I'm going to have to go and edit that out because I forgot we put that picture of Lizzo. Like, yeah. spreading I thought it was enough. covered enough, you know? It wasn't covered it enough? It was not covered enough. Apparently not. Uh, we got oh, I'm so angry at the people that kept sharing that when it first yeah i know like showed. Uh, honestly, it's like i it wasn't that ours was covered it's okay i want to see it i got no, some I'm feedback good. people weren't happy that we like we talk about everything on fnt but will not become the lizzo channel don't no do not worry it will not happen but she's like the you know she's like a neutron star she kind of sucks she's got a lot of gravitational pull let's just of, say not that a mass she's a super massive <laughs> black hole <laughs> Oh my god. Inserts herself. I feel like that's racist somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Have you seen the some of the stones at Karnak, France? Uh yes, I have. Uh were destroyed to build an M uh bricolage, a Home Depot. No. No. What? what? No. Good. I hate a that. Home Depot? Fuck. How is that? Angry. How is that a thing? We're gonna, still? we're gonna see those. I'm gonna uh, on the second part of my trip when I'm not with you guys and hang out with my wife. Uh, we're that's we're going there. We're gonna go check it out. Uh, another thing about Malta, the cart ruts. Those are fucking trippy. What those are. So, um, you you guys have seen them before, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are all over Malta too, on both sides, right? So it looks like they had like you know horse drawn carts. 
Uh, that's what it, but it can't be because they're the lines aren't even. Uh, but it looks like they were like, you know, pulling chariots or carts through mud. Um, and these these tracks go into the ocean, like a uh, hundred feet deep into the ocean on both sides of the island. So it's like they were taking it across or something. I, I they are the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. Yeah. Uh, the singing tigs for ten dollars says Gary. Got a notification for Dan on the charismatic. Got a notification for Dan on the charismatic voice. Better get them pipes ready. You all should get into Paul or Rossley on or get Paul Rosoli on uh Forbidden Frontier. Could be interesting guest. Um, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but uh we're catching up to Dan. Have yeah. You know? Yeah. Dan ain't that the last far, few videos are bangers. You know, yeah. I know he's got his peaches song and just focus on the peaches song. Don't do a Ken song, please. Um, <laughs> and as long as they don't delay the marvels, I'm not worried about a damn thing. I think uh, Dan should uh, get ready, get ready to sing my song. Uh, he can keep Is it written already. It's going to make you work on it. his wildest dreams. I'm going to write the greatest song Dan has ever sung. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And he gets to keep all the money. That's cope. See how generous of a guy I am. This is what cope looks like, everyone. <laughs> what cope? He's catching up. <laughs> I'm catching up, dude. Dan I'm catching up. I swear. <laughs> this is not. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. I am the tortoise. He is the hare. He'll get out to that little lead, and I'll just do 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 catch up to him. Uh, he's not. He hasn't done peaches yet. Mrs. Nerdrotic, and you know what? He's been you slacking. Pipe down, Honestly. lady. I know you're on his side, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's been slacking. Look, there's a lot of opportunities. He, he could be making car money. right after the bet. Pick it yeah. out wigs, wigs that I can wear for the fucking song. I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> so just in case, I'm like, losing is not an option. It's like for when you lose, for when you lose, my own wife, et tu wife, <laughs> et tu. Um, rich uncle cheapskate uh, for $9.99. I think, uh, might that might be one of Melissa's uncles, to be honest with you. Uh, my claustrophobia went crazy when Lee Berger went down the chute. Any reason why the scientist, after all those years studying the chamber, couldn't expand the hole? That's a, I mean. That, there's a it's joke a lot there. of work. Uh, it's, uh, a, lot it's of work, a lot of work, and it could cause a collapse. Yeah, I think they need to preserve the structure. So they're working within, like, they can only dig so much. They probably have to deal with, um, you know, uh, the the, uh, the government, and you're preserving it as much as you, you possibly can. And yeah, Except that, when he was down there, and he was like, get that hammer. Yep. Get that hammer. Oh, yeah. I'm getting down there, dang it. That's right. Snap. Even that little rickety bridge that they made was, I was just like, oh, I, I wouldn't want to cross that. Them- I needed them to take the camera and point down. Like, I would have loved down. that. See how far that hole yeah. went. I, I just yeah, like, there was just that in. one line of him saying, yeah, you can imagine what's down there. And it's like, what? what? Why yeah. do you have to imagine, Why? man? Yeah. <laughs> Go find no. out. Cameras we have cool flashlights light. and cameras and ropes, all right? <laughs> down there. They're take probably limited on power. I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. Maybe. So, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're running full-on camera equipment to like and watching live while they're down there maybe they're care, obviously the sequel that would be yeah, cool maybe that would be cool. dude i hope graham hurries hope up so. with ancient apocalypse season two oh, he, could, man. he could easily do 10 seasons of that show dude easy easy and according to some people i talked to like it did really well on netflix like it kicked ass. Yeah. They were they were I very quick love... with that season two re up. So I'm he... glad all those people tried to attack him and say that he was a white supremacist. Oh, it only brought dude. more eyeballs onto that show. You know the executives right. at Netflix were fucking loving it. You yeah. know, and, and Graham's oh, yeah. like mm-hmm. Graham's like not gonna take any shit. He's old. He's older now. When we saw him at Contact the Desert, you just like ah, oh, Graham's getting old. You know, I want him to live forever. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, he just like he he opens up by you know, just dog and uh, arch- uh archaeologist for about 10 minutes and then gets into his gets into his talk and it's, pre- it's pretty funny it's, it's really actually funny. pretty funny uh 
Uh, Gary allowed Garrett on this week. Good on you, Gary. That's not allowing. Thank you. Eh, that's how it sounded last week. <clears throat> Just saying. Why did you miss last week? You were editing. I was yeah. editing. Yeah. yeah. It was, I was your, editing your video. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I didn't I better say... get this done. Yeah, that's he said. I'm gonna sit this one out and get it. That, that it's his. I'm choice. a hard worker, right? You're a very hard worker, and I am not a taskmaster. Jeez. Yeah. Only when I need to be. Uh, why is quarterback me. not updated? Uh, the geek grind po uh, promo. I get the Forbidden Frontier blend and subscription, and I have the mug. We, you know, we were just talking about that. We were just talking about. You that. brought it up, actually. I did. I'm sick of hearing time. my own voice. It's time for a new commercial. <laughs> or maybe just my own voice in a different way. There you go. I love that commercial, personally. I do, too. But, uh, yeah, I, I get you. I get you. Uh, Johan Naxos for $5. The EAM mod tone at the beginning of the intro makes me shiver every time. I'm always waiting for a PDS tornado uh, warning right afterwards. Love this show. Oh, he's talking about the intro. Yeah, yeah. that is straight up. Uh, the first thing I think of. Uh, I don't even know if it's legal. Heard... Is it legal to do that? Yeah, we don't know if it's legal either. I think it's fine if we're on like YouTube or a podcast, but if we were going terrestrially, that would be a different thing. I heard that uh, on 9-11. Yeah, bunch, a bunch on 9-11. I uh, heard that during earthquakes, but the most I've heard that is, yeah, when I was visiting South Dakota and the tornado mm -hmm. warnings. And then th then to make you feel at ease, they play, they hit the air raid siren. And you're like, oh, it's great. Sure. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking air raid siren just going. That's that's gonna calm everybody down. <laughs> so, uh, pale eyes traveler. I look forward to the show every week. You guys and gals are the best. Our gal, sorry. Uh, I love this kind of stuff. So fascinating. We know very little about this world. That's what uh, I think we all genuinely love the mystery portion of it. And it just makes life is not as mundane as. Some would make it out to be. I think 100%. that's great. Uh, Soldier Spirit for nine ninety nine. Sorry, Gary. The Karnak stones are all gone. The mayor claimed they were not archaeological remnants of sufficient value to reject planning permissions for the hardware store. Did they take them all out? Uh, that would. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to fucking France if they did that. They couldn't have taken them all out. Let's see. It looks like um, there's some still there. Yeah, they they there's no way they could have taken it. It has low archaeological value. That's just sad. They're freaking stones that look like they oh, were wow. stood up by yeah. humans. French archaeologists to cry the uh, the loss. Mm -hmm. Of all of them? It sounds like it. You are fucking kidding me. No way. Can you show can you show whatever you guys are looking at? Yeah. You got it, Gary? Uh mine's no, no. mine's just a an article about the stones, not the removal. Uh French archaeologists to cry the loss. Of, oh my god, this makes me fucking sick. Of 7,000-year-old standing stones on a site that was destroyed to make way for a DIY store. Local officials argued that the site was of low archaeological archaeological value. Dozens mm. of prehistoric standing stones in Karnak in town of Brittany, Northwest, have been removed to make way for a retail store. Debate raging among historians, politicians, and cultural. The site has been destroyed, local archaeologist uh, Christian Oblitz said. According to Oblitz, some 39 uh, stones... Uh, the term for such uh, standing stones, standing at the 40 inches uh, high, they are estimated to date back some 7,000 years. So I don't think they took them all out, right? Uh, a portion of them. Uh, so the inspections found some of the low archaeological value. The land in question is not a uh, protected archaeological site. So it is near one. Uh, though it is near one. For this part, Alberts uh, thinks local authorities did not do their diligence. They weren't archaeological excavations in order to know the stones were menhirs or not. So they're extended from the because this thing goes way out, right? So I'm hoping they just took like I, I don't want, I don't want them to take fucking any of it out, but I'm hoping they didn't take the big part out. 
Uh, Karnak, the Brittany region, is known for Grand Fields megaliths, some 3,000 of them standing in two protected areas that stretch over four miles. The exact purpose of the standing stones is unknown. Some theories suggest sacred and funeral purposes. That's what they always think. Uh, in any case, according to the mm -hmm. regional director, the damage to a site of archaeological value has not been established. Mr. Uh, Brockledge uh, Group told AFP sincerely uh, regretted the situation. Uh, fuck. That's sad. Fucking Dude. French. Yeah, but, that was sorry. this year. That was this year. Yeah, so I don't think they took out the big part, but they took out a part. And uh, that's that's fucking crime. It's a fucking crime. Fuck. Fucking French. You guys will fucking riot over uh, a, a, like a year being taken off of your, your retire added to your retirement, but you'll let the fucking stones get just Jesus Christ. Well, the plans were in the city hall. They were in the, they were in the city hall for months. Uh, behind the door said, beware. Beware of the leopard. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have a stairway or a light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss. You've got Doug. to build bypasses. <laughs> they have to be built. They have to be built. Do you know how much damage this tractor would get if I just let it roll right over you? No, how much? None at all. Toll. Uh, opinion Classic. for two Canadian pesos. Check out the stones in Cyprus, Saskatchewan. Oh, like hey, Saskatchewan. There's stones everywhere. Like in Canada? Ministry of Wrong Thing for $1.99. Is there another Saskatchewan? There might be. I don't know. They're probably oh, so basically, by the end, they end up with Phoebe in Sicily. With Phoebe in Sicily. I like Waller Sicily. Bridge? Phoebe Waller Bridge. Yeah, I hope not. I what did I go through Syracuse? I had to go through Syracuse because I drove around the entire island. What, Melissa? Did we get? Did we drive through Syracuse? I can't remember. She's in the this. Show. Is Cyprus, Saskatchewan? I'm an excellent driver, especially in Sicily. These cool. look familiar. Oh, uh, that's like maybe a thirty-hour drive from me. That'll be cool to go see. Uh. A how how far drive? Maybe thirty hours. Thirty hours, three zero. Yeah, to get great? out of Ontario, it takes at least sixteen hours. Okay. What? Damn. You live in Texas. Texas is basically the same. <laughs> Driving through Texas no, takes like you know a week. Eighteen hours to drive to San Diego. It's eighteen. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I was bang on there. thirty hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm like I'm in the dead center of the country, so it's pretty much the same drive to like like Orlando, give or take an hour or two. Then this yeah, pretty year, much. So, mm. uh oh, um, Gary, camera. Wow, what the fuck? Uh, it's it's the Elgato oh. segment of the show, everybody. Yes, <laughs> sponsored by. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Oh, looks like your camera died. No, it's it's the four well, uh, the four K link that these fucking things use. I I think my connections are getting shitty on my Dell. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, like the motherboard Dell. connections, because that's not good. Or maybe, maybe the hey, connectors for the cable. I'm back. There you go. There we go. I'm back. There we go. Hi. How you doing? Uh, how you doing, Adam? Can you hang out for like, uh, let's see. Five more minutes, or do you need to go? Because you can go. I, you need to go. I'll be honest. I I am struggling. I oh. woke up at five, and it's yeah. almost three. So I've been up oh. for just so just under twenty two hours now. Dang so I'm I'm pretty tired. Well, then get your ass to bed. Get some rest. All right. Um. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go do that. Ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Usually I'm not this tired, and I I need to stay up a little longer so I'm not like tired while I'm live. But this weekend I I did a lot of yard work, so mm -hmm. I just uh and a lot of plumbing work too. I hate plumbing. Plumbing's the worst, but it had to be done, and I got it done. So, yeah, but love the show. Um, what are we talking about next week? What are we talking about next week? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. 
Just we'll check, figure it out. Let me know. Development. I'll let you know. All right. All right, I'll guys. let you know in the next day or two so we have enough time to do homework. Yep. All right. Bye. Sounds good. I'm gonna Later, brother. Peace out, guys. Adam Crickler, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Little sleepy. Lay his sleepy head down to sleep. Adam. <laughs> dream of Zorbu. Yes, he's going to go dream of Zorbu. Or Zorbu's maybe, already there. Maybe it won't be a dream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just imagine seeing his face right now, that avatar. <laughs> maybe it won't be a dream. Disco Cobra 2013 for $20. Hey, what's up, guys? So I was wondering if you had K-Cup adapters or whatever for your coffee. Was going to start buying some here today. Going to have a major coffee drinker here soon. Krigler coffee as well. We have uh, K-Cup. We have K-Cups. Yes, we do. Yep. Link in the description. Link in Use the description. Use code NerdRotic. Yep. Uh, I believe Krigler has them as well. I believe so. So our coffee is made the same way. His is. I did not know that, but it's package fresh. It's package fresh. Uh, straight Columbia. from Colombia. From Colombia. Colombia. I mean, they use it. I mean, the reason, you know, they work with me is because it's, you know, it covers up the smell of all the cocaine they ship here. They use the coffee. And I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, you know. Did you ever? Oh, you, you don't watch the Grand Tour. The Grand Tour episode where they're in Colombia. And they're trying, and they try to go an entire episode without mentioning cocaine. <laughs> That's so fucking. Funny. That's got to be difficult. It's it's very difficult. <laughs> and once you find out, they're like, you know, the economy's tough here. It's like, it's like if, it's like if they they should have something to export that people would want. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, it might help. Saying it without them. saying it, love it. <laughs> Pale eyes for six ninety nine Canadian nine nine. Pale eyes, what's up, pale eyes? What if you have to hit the speed of sound to use the wormholes? Maybe that's why only the big rocket disappeared was going uh, one and a half times the speed of sound. Yes, it's a possibility. Maybe I think I, I think to hit the wormholes, yeah, you have to know where they are, and they probably move right. Um, and yeah, you probably have to be going a certain amount of speed. You probably have to have a certain amount of certain type of craft. Uh, I don't even if that ro say that rocket went through the wormhole, but that wormhole goes to some place where the gravity is totally different, the air density is totally different, and just you know, yeah, pressure is totally different, you know, just assuming it goes to another planet, right? Maybe it goes in the middle of space or our planet in a different or another version of our planet where Star Wars is good, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's like why they're doing. That they're one. like, they're like, uh, we got to open up a wormhole because this reality has the worst Star Wars and Star Trek right now, and we, we got to get the hell out of one. here, man. Yeah. Oh Soldier no! Soldier Spirit for nineteen ninety nine says Elgato El presents Gato. the show. Is it Elgato again? It went out again. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? What's going on? No. Maybe need new wire. It's got the pink eye. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I here okay. read a couple super chats that I'm gonna. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, Soldier Spirit for 1999. Have you heard about the theory that Dugway is Area 52, where crafts and bodies were relocated? I trained there for a while. Can't confirm, but I will be on Sheila Aliens channel soon to talk about some weird stuff there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What was it called again? What was the location? Uh, Dugway is Area Dugway. 52. Dugway. I haven't heard of that. Let's see if you can find anything. Uh, yeah, I 100 percent don't think that they still have the same stuff at Area 51 because, like, it's a pop culture thing. They would have moved that a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, so it's 100 percent going to be somewhere else. Like secrets upon secrets upon secrets. Don't want it to be easily found. But uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Aiken for two ninety nine Australian says it's in Utah. Is in Utah? In Utah. Really? No one else is in Utah. Skinwalker. I'm feeling those like alien sounds. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> the freaking the red, the red twines coming together. God, that's investigate it and let us know. If you're gonna if you're gonna be stationed there. Yeah. I uh, mean, don't let us know. 
don't tell us at all because you couldn't tell us. <laughs> uh, Aiken for two ninety nine Australian says inclusiveness wiped out ancient societies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Japanese Demon Lord for five says, have you heard of the Devil's Tromping Ground in North Carolina? Devil's no. Tromping Ground. Have you heard of it? No. I haven't. Devil's Tromp. Tromping Ground. I'm going to get pictures. Yeah. Uh, images. What is it? I don't know. A tramping ground? This looks like... A burnt area. There's also a movie on it. I feel like I've seen this a lot in the woods of Texas. Just weird open spaces like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this uh, could be like a pile. How long has this been here? I don't know. What is it? The Devil's cool. Tramping Ground? Devil's Tramping Ground. What's it look like? Well, they need to be investigated further. Maybe. What? What's? I'm this not seeing tramped about it. Uh, let's see. It's a camping spot by Harper's Crossroads in Bear Creek. But what's unusual about it? I don't uh, know. What's that? Local legend and lores, which frequently allege that the devil's tramps and haunts a barren circle of ground in which nothing is supposed to grow. It's been frequently noted on lists of unusual places. Oh, you have landed there, duh. <laughs> Come on. I think we should go stay there. Yeah, stomp, we go camping. stomping ground makes more sense. Melissa, I agree. I would just call yeah. it the, the devil's footprints or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Um two penny puppet says, Love you guys, but how am I supposed to read my comics and watch my movies if y'all are constantly streaming on YouTube? <laughs> hey man, I don't know. Uh, don't sleep. Yeah. That's a that's a you problem. That sounds like a you problem, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Stacy S for 9.99 says want to blow your mind the great awakening documentary. Okay. I haven't heard of that. I'll have to check that out. Do you want to I keep like reading? my mind blown? That sounded weird. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to keep reading Gary or? Yes. So okay. five for five pens. Realized when watching that document how much I don't know. Thanks. Yeah. How, you know, it also makes us all realize how much we don't know. I feel like that's constantly happening. Um, constantly finding more things. Like, that's why I like this show so much is like it's gotten me to kind of focus on this kind of stuff. And I've like expanded my brain to so much stuff. Like the whole the Mayan temples that are out there from Luke Caverns to this new species that possibly had reverence for their dead and buried them and had ceremony. Oh, Sophie Amazing. says it's Sophie, not SoFi. I think Sophie, SoFi, in the chat. Have you been saying SoFi this whole time? <laughs> so I said SoFi, Sophie. I don't know, Sophie, SoFi. Sophie? Like, is it Sophie, Sophie? Sophie, or is it Sophie, 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 or is it SoFi? I, I mean, know. I could see that could be SoFi because it's like Wi-Fi, <laughs> Wi-Fi, Lo-Fi, and Hi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> That's or not your fault. Yes, Sophie. Okay. Sophie. Sorry, so. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, YouTuber raised part of my super chat was asking you if you could recommend a book about the different homos, uh, because there is so much I don't know. Thanks. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm not into the anthropology kind of stuff that much. Um, I could recommend a book about giants, though, by Hugh Newman. And we have some book rep recommendations down below. Yes, I'll work on my book recommendations. I'll you should have those. like an Amazon affiliate page so you have all those ah, books. Yeah. Well, I have we some do. of them. We, in the we do have one. You did not know we had one? I didn't know we had oh, one. With I, knew the we had a, I knew we had like a a gear yeah. one. I don't know like about books. And such. Well, I'll put that in uh, our freaking description. Here it is. Yeah, well, you need to update it, but here it is. Cool. Uh, we have okay. Yeah. Recommended oh, reading. Different things. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, we'll make a Forbidden Frontier section of this. That can be our book recommended to, until that website finally me, get done. <laughs> I'm yelling at my son. Give me that link, please. Uh, the link. Yeah, just drop it in the yeah. chat. I will. You're I gonna will. update it, Garrett. 
Yeah. Thank you. Well, I don't know. Can I do that? I don't know if I have access to your. Uh, Melissa can provide you access if you need it. I can provide you access. Okay. Do you know my my Amazon account was started in 1998? Damn. Yeah, that's how long I've had it. I was like, I didn't know Amazon existed that long. Five years Six. ago. It's weird that like I've had an email for like over 30 years. <laughs> You know, it's like kind of, th- it was, yeah. it was so new. Mm. I still I have my you. AOL email. I still, I do too. I still I have my very first Neil email. Pets. I do. I kept it for, I guess, nostalgic reasons. And I can't my instant, of- instant messenger, my really? AOL aim. I, still I remember the aim. Too. Oh, those are the days. You know, my so I communicated AOL. with my wife. Things were so simple back then. You know, I was looking at my uh, big Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Rings banner that's in my bathroom. <laughs> so it's the but it's, the, it's nice. the banner that, that was it. And on the bottom it says AOL keyword Lord <laughs> yeah. of the Rings L O T R. I'm like, what? oh yeah, AOL keyword. keyword. I remember those. Keyword. I remember those. Um, Ministry of Wrong Think uh, for a dollar ninety nine. Homo erectus, not us, just as and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Now I have to slaughter and remove the tongues from a herd of cows just to get an image of Adam dreaming of me. Yuck. It says Zorbu for $25. <laughs> Zorbu with oh. the jokes. <laughs> uh, Potato Radio for $5 says a good book is Atlas Obscura, full of ancient religious and artist, uh, or artistic or weird government sites. Ooh, okay kind of stuff i like have you guys been up all night holy moly oh no just adam no i actually got tons of rest today i just didn't do very i organized blu-rays and watched um tv so i kind of vegged out today sounds like a nice day it does because i have a wonderful gig but after watching secret invasion and witcher Multiple I just times. needed a little fucking break. Okay. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> times, dude. Not just once. Multiple ah, times. Melissa says you guys do have Atlas Obscura. We do. There we go. So people send us some rad books, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Andrew Matthews for one British pounds heart emoji. Right back at you. Emoji. I got this from a viewer. Let's see it. Grid Square. Oh. Awesome. Tales from the Grid Square, Volume 1. Military Stories of Paranormal Activity. Oh, I like those. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Did you get your swearing. iPhone number two? Uh, I, I haven't opened have mine yet. yet. I, got my, uh, I got my hat. I got my shirt. I got my books. Oh, my hat is right here. That's so I like the new shirts. I got to get one of the new shirts. Shirts are like rad. Shirt. The hat is better. The hat is great. So I got Perry. If you're out there, I got you your hat. I'll hand it to you at Anime Matsuri. We worked that out, by the way. If you're wondering, so Anime Matsuri uh, did the, the YouTuber panel on Friday, <laughs> which is kind of hard for us because we have a show. Yeah. So what we're going to do is do the panel first, and then haul ass to the hotel. And do the show, and we'll just do it from our separate hotel rooms. So we're not going to okay. do it in one room. We're just going to do it from our separate hotel rooms, uh, and um, it'll be like a really short show. It'll be two and a half hours, something like that. Because then we got to go. Well, I mean, we could push it to three because we got to go to Chrissy's show. Go to Chrissy. oh, oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. It's gonna be a busy day, but uh, Saturday we'll, we'll kind of have the place to ourselves. So. We're gonna do. We're gonna be down there doing our signings and stuff. So if you're going, to Anime Matsuri tickets aren't much. They aren't. They aren't that much. You can go in, and there's gonna be a giant YouTuber section. Critical Drinker's gonna be there. Nick Kate is gonna be there. Quarterback Garrett's gonna be there. Perry's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Chris Gore is going mm-hmm. to be there. There's gonna be a lot and and more. I think Cecil's going. Yeah. Um, pretty sure Cecil's going. Who I else? Think Camelot's going too. Who lofty one last going. year. Um, Brittany Venti's going. Sean from Think Before You Sleep is going. Uh, so they're doing a Simpcast panel. Um, 
I'm forgetting people and I'm sorry, but you can go get the anime Matsuri app or go on, go on to their website. And um, yeah. there's going to be a lot of people. That's also Ryan, fun. Is Ryan and Jeremy going to make it? Do I know? don't no, think so. I don't think, so. I don't think, I think Ryan should try. I know Jeremy's stupid busy right now. He can't, yeah. He, yeah, I'm sure he'd want to, but he just can't, yeah. he cannot. He's got so much going on right now. Um, <clears throat> But uh, I don't know, Ryan jumping on a plane and getting out there, I don't think that's a horrible idea. Yeah. I think he can do it. He doesn't sleep. He eats like shit. Just get on a fucking plane. He can make a video from anywhere. He can make a video from the fucking plane. Plane Maybe video. Plane. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's up, guys? It's Ryan from it's RK Ryan. Outpost. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The women's soccer team is a total disaster. <laughs> Mega Rapino made a fool out of herself. <laughs> <laughs> Share this video out How there. How bad do you have to be that all of America was rooting against the women's soccer team? Dude, how do you miss a goal? It's your job. How do you miss a goal Dude, that Helen much? Keller wouldn't have missed that goal. Bro. Okay. Like, the part of that challenge is not to get it in the goal. It's to get it past the goalie. Like, you couldn't even get she it. She kicked the field goal. That's what she did. <laughs> she was, she was a... <laughs> I like her in her walk away where she's just like, oh, man, shame, shame. Who else is going? Who else is going to Anime Matsuri? Oh, Eric July. How can I keep oh, Eric yeah. July? <laughs> I feel like I'm He's like right somebody. there. We just talked about somebody. him, too. Um, Oh I yeah, Eric right July is gonna be there. <laughs> Fuck! I knew I was like, I'm missing somebody big, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting old. I'm there getting old. Yeah, a little YouTuber, a little uh, a little comic creator, a uh, little guy. He's he's yeah. you know come, up and coming. Eric July will be there. <laughs> Shit, sorry, Eric. Uh, the Bob that God made mad for four ninety nine. You guys should have it's a Gundam on. He's an anthropologist studying doomed civilizations. That is not something I knew about. It's a Gundam. But if he's down to come on, he's my boy. He can come on any show he wants. Well, I think he's talking about our current society. Our current of our society. Our current, yeah. our current doomed society. society. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah. Well, we're doomed. I'm not, I'm not a black pillar, though. No. Clown. Laugh at it. Yep. Have any of you ever seen... Spelunking, scary fun. It was fun when I was younger and braver. Uh, you mean jumping down caves and stuff? Spelunking? I never did that shit. I did um bouldering. So we drive oh, out to uh, Joshua Tree, and there's big piles of boulders. I'll do that. And we'd climb yeah. in them, climb under them, climb around. Yeah, like it, it, do some off roading. Good times. Go, go not going into a hole no. in the ground. Like, the, the, hole in the ground. I mean, if there's like an awesome archaeological artifact to look at, it might be worth it. But like, dude, you, don't, you do not understand. Like when you are, unless you've done it before, then you do yeah. understand. Like how many you can get really fucking combobulated. Bugs. Yeah, yeah. And like you can get stuck somewhere and you get stuck. You get lost. Die. Experienced die. divers get stuck all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. But there's also fucking just nasty stuff down there. Fucking poop and guano and shit like yeah uh adam afterlife agreed always undiscovered country that's right i also love that star trek movie uh the chat for two dollars uh by the way i saw somebody mention earlier in the show the y files shout out to the y files it's a fucking great channel yeah good dude he does all right he does okay it's like <laughs> craps out a couple million views on a video <laughs> like no problem uh but there, there's a lot of work a ton of work is put into his stuff too you can tell you can tell have you seen the docuseries Halier? uh it, it investigates the kentucky goblins aliens and beyond maybe you can have uh the new kirks on to talk about it yeah dude any channel you guys suggest who you think we should talk to please email x-ray girl me Yep. Or, uh, or Garrett, and we will absolutely bring them on. Uh, how big the channel doesn't really freaking matter. We just want to talk about this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Seems only Greer's guys have the juicy stories, says Dub Selector for $2. Yeah, Greer. 
you know what? I, I just go back to Fox Mulder's poster. I want to believe. I want to believe. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Poor Grush. He's got a face that you just wouldn't trust. I don't know how he got that far in, uh, in camera. In, uh, went out. I wouldn't. Again. Like, if you're the car salesman, I would not buy a car from him. Okay. <laughs> so, and it's just his look. He might be the nicest guy in the world. We don't know. Uh, but these are intelligence guys. And uh, like Lou Elizondo, like he he freely admits his job was to sow discourse. You know, that was his job. I can't trust that. I can't trust that. Doc Savage. Well, like, I'm, I'm okay with listening to it, you know. But I, I am. And I think there is some truth in there. And I think uh, they're holding back 99% of it. Right. And they're giving us these little this little drip of truth to obfuscate from something else. So from something much bigger. Maybe. Maybe there is a faction. Maybe they got close, and this is a way to defer them. Or so, I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't know. The chat for five dollars says Doc Savage creator Lester Dent literally invented the metal detector. Just a fun fact and a brilliant writer. Hell yeah! Really? Oh, that's when people got shit done. You know, Your we talked about this before. Died again, those, by the way, what was that? Did it? Your camera died. Sadies. Did he? I think he just left. Uh, no, I'm I fine. Guess... Oh, oh, okay. I'm here. I'm here. There. Hey, oh, there he goes. Nice. I wonder if it's uh. That's weird. It was. I left it on all night last night. Maybe it's just be mm -hmm. acting kind of funny. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'll restart everything. I'm it's a Kentucky everything. Goblin. It's the Kentucky Goblin. I think that's it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get. We gotta get through this. Uh, Phoenix the web for two dollars. Get the facts by how uh get the facts by how to hunt Bigfoot and it's say Sabe Guyon. Is it Sabe or Sabe? Bigfoot slash S A B E. I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth on Bigfoot. I'm open to it. Brazil 578 for five dollars. Hello, guys. Sorry, UFO stuff is waging the dog, uh, is wagging the dog to distract attention from the Biden and military wanting money. Government tech is 30 years ahead. It's it's 30 years ahead, but it's still like uh Fravor the pilot. Th that guy's legit. Mm -hmm. That guy's legit. And he talked about his experience in 2004, which is 20 years ago of uh the movements of the tic tac and we can't do that we can't. dude if we could wh why a why would we hide that because we'd be omnipotent on this planet we could deliver a, a dirty bomb wherever the fuck we wanted to we could deliver it up somebody's ass so if we had it, technology it, that can move that fast yeah yeah we don't we we just don't have it and this guy is legit do we have other stuff that's crazy? Yes. Uh, you know, are we doing very dangerous experiments? Yes. Uh, are they, this isn't to distract from, uh, this thing was planned ahead. I'm still trying to get the date, but it was a couple months ahead. It was planned. It took a lot of planning for this to happen. So for it to happen on the date, uh, that, you know, the other, but I think arresting Trump is enough. I think that's actually enough. Uh, and, and it's not working by the way. I don't know if arresting is the right word. Never but, gonna uh, work. And, and and does is any of this helping Biden? By the way, his uh, it, his approval rating is 41 percent, his approval rating on the, the economy is 36 percent, and that's according to fucking CNN. Yeah, okay, so like it's <laughs> not team. helping, none of this shit's helping. They maybe they're trying. Uh, you guys talked about metal detectors earlier. I've always wanted to bury nuts and bolts in the sand as a prank. You should. But you don't need to because there's tons everywhere. Yeah, they're already there. Nerdy Geezer for $2. Are you planning to visit Rendlesham while in the UK? If it's not far, if, I mean, is there anything to see, though? That's the thing. Is the Air Force Base still there? Are we allowed there? Because I would certainly be open to it. Uh, Heavy J Streamlabs for twenty dollars. I'd love to see Timothy Alberino on the Forbidden Frontier to discuss giants. Hell yeah! Uh, he's written books about it. He's also he has a killer YouTube channel. He's good people. So could you remember that name? Yes, I already wrote it down. Thank awesome. you. 
Now, Curtis Hart for four ninety nine. Have you all done an episode on the Bermuda Triangle yet? And if you haven't, uh, will you do it? Yes, I will. Yes, absolutely. It's on the list. Yeah, we have not done it yet, but we will. Uh, QBG, this is Ryan from RK Outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, a messy domination. There is a meme that right after um, it's M E S S I uh, arrived, they announced aliens are real because people always call him an alien. Okay, says Sophie for five pens. Sophie for five pens. Gary, uh, to know if you read this, but very disappointed. Dylan M came to Peru before you did. I feel dirty. <laughs> we need <laughs> Man. to get Machu Picchu now. Went? Yes, he did. Oh. Dylan Mulvaney went to, and, and uh, yeah, it made me feel sad. Uh, that Budweiser money. I Take can't imagine. Dylan. I, I will go to Machu Picchu and I will cleanse it. Uh, it we will, will be done. It, it will All be right. done. Okay, Sophie, it will be done. Uh, bring on X-Ray. She is an expert in aliens. She has watched the 22nd episode of... Uh, she has watched the 22nd episode of Star Trek, the original series. There you go. She's making her way. How you doing on Doctor well, Who? You did the whole first uh, season, right? Yes. So now we're on to... Uh, mm, Zia says this is going to be a really good episode, but The Empty Child? I think okay. that's one of your favorites too, right? Yeah. I might have to barge in on that a little bit. The Doctor Dances? Is, so well. you're going Empty from the Child, new... Empty Child and Doctor Dances are... Goat Doctor Who. Like, I'll send you a link then. Really you can uh, make an appearance if you'd like. Uh, Andrew Matthews, thank you for the five British pounds. Stavezzi for four ninety nine. Gary, did you ever read Planetary? Would would make a great movie or series? It would make a better series, and I loved Planetary. Absolutely adored Planet. The art is great. Uh, archaeologists, you know, uh, it's 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 a very very fucking good book. The Bob the God made man for four ninety nine idea for an episode in the moon megastructure theory. It's just fun to play around with. It is. You know, maybe I'll ask, uh, 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 you know, maybe I'll ask Mike Bear to come on. Maybe he will. Be cool. Yeah. WG for $10. Hail gang. I recommend watching the British TV show, The Detectorists, about a metal detectorist club in the UK. Funny, great show. Oh, it's real. Oh my god! You. It's like a reality yeah, I show. You're fucking with me, WG. So, <laughs> hey, I just want to point out. Thanks to WG, we at our event passed. We gave a thanks to WG. Uh, there was a, a PlayStation Five was given away, and there was no riot. I just want to point out there was no riot. There were YouTubers there. There were YouTubers PlayStation, there. PlayStation Five was given out. No riot. No riot. Gifted five, uh, WG has gifted five Neurotic Live memberships for $25. Thank you. <laughs> Japanese Queens Reich for $25. <laughs> this is the last one, too. I'm smiling next to you in Siren Rucidity. <laughs> for some reason, he wants to do old. Uh, power ballad songs <laughs> with a racist Japanese accent <laughs> that are Queen's Reich song. That is a very specific account, Japanese. <laughs> I'm smiling next, next to you. To you. <laughs> <laughs> it's better when you sing it. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! <laughs> you should go on tour with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just be my intro. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. God. I love our I love our people. You're really We're the weird, best people. And I love mm -hmm. you. All right. Uh, what do you got coming up, Garrett? Um, tomorrow I've got Bay Staff with Krigler and the gang on his channel. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, normal world on our channel. We passed sixty thousand subscribers, so thank you everybody yeah. for checking out the channel and subscribing and whatnot. Who are this, week, this week, Chris Gore or Frank oh. Gore, however we want to say. Oh, what? so look out for that. Get him fun. to Frank Gore level. Yeah, it's definitely going to be on the the lower third for sure. <laughs> I don't Wait. think Gary knows what his said either. What? Hmm? What? I don't know. W my lower third? Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't even know what a lower third is. A lower third is it's the little branding. If it says Chris Gore under, like if you're mm. full screen right here, if I go full screen on you. So, so you could like, if you were in control of that, you could type like whatever you wanted to down third. there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be weird if you could do that. What? Do what? Hmm? Do what? Why are you fucking with me now? I'm, trying <laughs> I'm to get so out confused. <laughs> Just move on. Just move on. It's fine. It's a better than a lower turd. That's why you got pink eye. You touched too many lower turds. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we can move on. What's up, X-Ray Girl? Okay. Well, tomorrow I'm going to be <laughs> watching the next two episodes of Doctor Who. Um, uh, the It will be on my channel this week, uh, The Empty Child. And I already forgot the next episode, but... Um, Mark the Cyborg will be Empty on the channel. Child, the Doctor Dances. The Doctor Dances. And I mean, I the last episode, Father's Day. Oh my God. Beautiful episode. But um, anyways, excited to see the next one. And uh, oh no. <laughs> His camera again. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so sub to the channel, playing Baldur's Gate, played Remnant 2. Um, yeah, I haven't found a, well, actually I've seen bears, but I haven't. You know, done anything with a bear. I the bears listen. can smell the menstruation. <laughs> I heard they can. That's like scary. <laughs> oh, I feel like uh, you would have yeah. been attacked. You're in Canada. Uh, you know what? I've seen a mother bear and her cubs, and my friend who was with us, she was, you know, doing her thing, and uh, they didn't attack us. So I'm happy about okay. that. So it's a myth. We're alive. We're alive. But, uh, yeah. Cool. All right. We out of here. Uh, thanks for watching Forbidden Frontier. We'll be back next Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Yeah, we'll be back next Sunday, right? Yeah. 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 Even though we're, I don't know if I'll be at Anime Matsuri on Sunday or not. I'll probably check out the Simcast panel. I'll probably go there. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, comic shops in Houston. We got to go. Gotta check it out because we're, I mean, true, we're yeah. not obviously not gonna be shopping at the at the anime convention, dude. <laughs> I tried one walk around, it's not for me. It's... How can you have a count of how many French maids you see? There was at uh, least eight or nine, there was at least eight or nine last time. We'll see if we <laughs> double Probably that. Number. More than that, really. Oh, a uh, male French maids, by the way. Let's be, yeah, yeah, male yeah, French maids, not, not, not ones you want, French maids, not ones uh, you want. Oh, shit. Chris is going to Dragon Con too. Yeah. Damn. I saw his shirt. It looks very snazzy. God damn. It looks like a acid trip. That's what it looks like. I have a special f shirt for Anime Matsuri that Melissa bought. It's freaking awesome. Can't wait to show it to you. Mm. Okay. We're going to go now. Uh, I got a video coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow Watch morning. It. A doozy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a doozy. We, we actually found some uh, Perry made. If he, Perry's got some clips. One, I, like, it's like a giant light bulb went. It's about <laughs> the Witcher, but did you see the chat on what it what it is? Mm. I should give him a hint. Beach off. Beach off. Oh. Beach off. But there's other clips in there that are great. Just fantastic. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Mark it in your calendars. New video. That's right. Page of Bossy Boots. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.